All right. What up? It's me, Javs on Twitch on a Saturday for the watch party. It's the rest of season one of Vox Machina is tonight. So that'll be in a little bit. Of course, it is also Arch Nemesis League in Path of Exile. And my Skelly team with the Necromancer has been popping off to say the least. Took down pretty much all the big bosses in the game, including the Feared and Maven, which I hadn't done since. Echoes of the Atlas, I think, or Ultimatum League. Um, was when I took everything down, I think, with my CI build. So uh, it's been it's been pretty good. Also, today, as a, as a day with my family, was not too bad either. Everybody was mostly chill today. You know, my littlest is potty training still, so that's a disaster. But everything else is pretty smooth. Not too bad of a day. Um, everyone went to sleep mostly, too. I mean, I'll have to go check on them in a little bit, but... Um, but everybody sleeps kind of early tonight, and uh, there was not really any complaints or anything, so... Cool. Sometimes the kids are just want to have a nice, chill weekend day, and we do it. It's not too bad. Um, so yeah, my league start was the Pathfinder. Went hard on the Poison Concoction, and that worked out really well. <clears throat> Got to last phase of Maven with that, but wasn't able to beat Maven on the League Start gear. Could have uh, maybe pushed it a little harder, but once I get to like level 90, you know, level 88 to level 92 is usually where I stop. So, <clears throat> Necromancer, I made it to level 93, but um, if you're playing Necromancer, you really do want all the extra points. It gets quite powerful if you can actually get to level 100. Um, those uh, last points for Necromancer, I feel like, are more important than maybe like for some other builds. Uh, just because you can get so many extra minion uh, cluster nodes um, and still also get a lot of good stuff on the tree like these uh, these new things here. <laughs> so I didn't do anything with my gear, really. I think the goal for tonight, I spent like... Pretty much all of my currency um you know doing all the bossing and stuff like that it doesn't mean like i'm poor or anything it just means that uh um you know i'll have to actually farm up some new stuff so i switched over to city square now so you have to drop some city squares i have a whole bunch of burial chambers so i'm gonna run those now and then i got all the four watch stones because um we completed all the stuff i still have to do the forgotten and the Elder Slayers, I didn't win last time. We tried it with the Poison Concoction build. So I'd have to get a Drox first. I do have actually enough currency probably to just blitz through those and do those. Um, but I think what I want to do tonight is actually spend time on the... Uh... It's going to be hard to see it with my camera, but... Uh... Uh, I want to spend time on the Searing Exarch because... I uh, built my tree for the Eater of Worlds to start, and I ha was going with this circle here and uh, this stuff, and it's actually pretty good, because you get 50% increased chance. You get a whole bunch of altars. The altars always give, like, uniques and uh, scarabs and all sorts of stuff like that currency. Uh, so you can get a pretty good bank from it. Um, and the actual bosses aren't too hard to do, so uh, they're pretty easily farmable. Uh, but I wasn't really doing the boss farming, because I just needed to get it done. So I wasn't doing it, like, faster or anything like that. But... Now, I'm going to actually try to do that with the Exarch. So, I'm going to go ahead and do this one. This one only gives a 20% chance um, to get the extra uh, the extra altars or whatever. This one had the 50% chance, so I don't know why it's... I mean, I guess I know why it's different to maybe keep it interesting and make one different than the other so that the market is not completely, uh, completely the same on this one, but... Uh, uh, so we're going to test it out and see if I can actually, if this is, feels as good as the other one. Uh, so we're actually going to go uh, double progress, 10% double progress and uh, and the actual boss encounter uh, itself. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do all that tonight, but that's my next strategy right now. And I'm going to go Delirium on that. Um, and we're getting all of the uh, quantity for the influence monsters uh, uh, here for the pack size. And I'm doing double bossing because we're a bossing character. And we're keeping the Harbinger stuff. I've specced out of the uh, uh, strong boxes here, but I'm still keeping uh, this 
because we'll throw in some ambush scarabs and I'll still have a chance to get the operative strong boxes, which uh, are still pretty strong when it happens for um, the scarabs. And I'm keeping shaping the seas for the favorited maps chance, and we're doing. Uh, I'm going to throw an expedition scarab, so I'm leaving this in to hopefully drop some more logbooks. I actually dropped a lot of logbooks this league on my own, and sometimes I drop double logbooks with this. Um, so logbook form has been pretty good uh, because they're probably like 20 to 50 C a pop each logbook, and they're pretty juicy in terms of like stuff you can get from them. And uh, it also has the uh, bonus of ready, maybe lucking into before. like a really good uh, unique like a mage blood or a headhunter. Uh, so I'm going to continue to do that in the background Good luck. Um, for all of my stuff. So my strategy is to throw in an expedition scarab and then an ambush scarab. And we're doing metamorph right now as well. I could I could use a little, a little bit more catalyst. I've been farming them on my own. It does help out with the uh, resistances and um, attribute modifiers is something that I really struggle with on this build because you do need a lot of attributes all around to run basically all the different types of uh, you know sniper's mark. You need to be high dex. And then obviously, you know, as a necromancer, you're going to be high int, and then you still need to get high strength for determination um, and, uh, you know, all the other stuff, molten shell. So, uh, you know, it, it, as a full package, it's still pretty good. So I bought a bunch of delirium orbs. These ones I got for like 15 each because I bought them like two apiece. So you can buy like, I've been, if you go more than two, then the prices I think really skyrocket. But if you buy them one at a time, it's kind of annoying. So I was doing like two at a time, three at a time, um, and getting them for like 15 C each ish. Uh, same thing for the, these ones here. And then I'm also doing some timeless ones. It would be nice to get some actual uh, Legion splinters. I'm not a very good Legion farmer though, so you might have to hold out. It would be nice to have the fifth spot, spot here because then I could throw in a, another Scarab. So it does really boost the mapping to have another Scarab. Uh, so I would like to get that done. I'm kind of close on some of these, but like Templar always holds me up. Uh, so I could just go ahead and buy the emblem. Maybe it's not even that expensive, right? It's 20 save. Um, yeah, so I could just buy the emblem, do the encounter. Because uh, the encounter itself won't be too bad to do as a necromancer. But breaking the legions isn't great because the minions don't really know where to aim and stuff like that. It never really works out uh, for Legion farm with a minion build. For in my experience, maybe somebody has uh, done it better than me, but uh, I always have trouble with uh, getting the minions to hit the right things. So it never really breaks out consistently. Um, I am thinking of maybe going. Uh, I have my Pathfinder as a ranger, so that can be converted into a dead eye or a ranger potentially for a, for a, a bow map farmer later. Because this is my bosser now. The other Pathfinder character is a bosser as well, uh, but I don't need two bossers, so now that this one is so strong, probably what I'll end up doing is uh, converting that character into my third character, which I would like to try out maybe the Omniscience uh, Amulet. This one is the Ashes of the Star, which is the e the one that drops from the Eater side. The Searing Exarch does drop the other one, so potentially uh, I will get it at some point. So I'm going to pop these in. I have... I was going to do like 40% each. Maybe I'll do one as 60% and then do one as 20% to even it out that way. And then we'll have like an actual progression. Um, so we can start uh, doing it the other way though. So I have six here and I have this one here. So I won't be able to hit them all. But uh, we should do like maybe the ones with the highest quant first. Like this one's 104. And this one's 101. I pre-rolled these so that'll be a little easier. Yo, uh, what up, Bossa Nova? You listening? The watch party starts, yeah. The, in my experience, the watch party start no earlier than 11 p.m. And usually the average is 12.30. So I assume we're starting at 12.30. But maybe people will be more excited this week and show up at 11 and will actually start earlier, but probably not. Um, but that's fine. 101, 78, 104 is the highest. So these are two of the best. Uh, I could also corrupt all of these as well, but I'd have to delirium at first, and then that's kind of risky. Because you could brick your delirium out of the way. Um, or make it like you can't run it, and then you wasted your delirium orb. So, uh, 88, 85, 70s, right? And then this is an 84. Okay, so it's in this order. 
Uh, boo, you're only here for the watch party. <laughs> yeah. The in 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 my experience, the people when we start the watch parties, it's usually by around midnight. Um, is when we start start getting into it. Uh, so that'll probably be when we watch episode seven. I think we're up to right. We watched the first sex blaster. So we should start on episode seven tonight. Um, so this is my my big daddy here, and this one has vulnerability magic monsters. Chain is actually bad for minions, but. Maybe I should re-roll that. Chain is so bad. When I'm ready and not before. I didn't realize I had chain on there. Boom, 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 boom. Less recovery is also not great, but uh that one's at least magical. Only you had a 88, moment. maybe five. Four. Mm -hmm. So this one now goes into this tier. Alright, so So this one will beef cake. With uh, like three delirium morphs. One, two, three. Okay, so that's our beefy for the night. And uh, this one has minus max and temp chains. <laughs> that's actually really bad too. That's fine. Uh, these ones should be okay. Double boss is fun. Another minus max. Plus recovery. I think we should be fine to do that. Um, so then these ones I think I'm gonna double up. I have four double ups, and then I can throw one extra one, I guess, on. One, two, three, four, and then do it like that. <clears throat> so I have mostly the uniques here, so. Dun. Dun, dun. Then we just have a plan one at the end. Okay. And then we'll beef up this one. And then this one will go here. Alright. I think that's solved, yeah. And then we'll go backwards. Uh, so this, uh, so I'll warm up maybe, and then we'll do it in the reverse order. So we'll go like this. Oh shit, I didn't mean to put it in here. Oh, these count as delirium, that's funny. I want to put it in this tab. Now I'm, out of, now I'm out of order, actually. 88, 85, 78. Oh, I went like this, right? All right, so this should be my 100. 88, 85. 84, 78, okay. And then I got this this guy. <clears throat> Alright, so let's see. I got the AG back, but he's just using like uh, like the really basic gear. So I don't have Fortify or Culling Strike or anything like that. I could buy a Kingmaker, I guess, but I think you really gotta have the extra health on him first. If I had a plus mini hat and the or the uh, divergent version, I think is the way to go. Um, cause I'm doing like pretty heavy high content. I think I'm gonna go Harbinger. I have a bunch of extra currency now. Yeah, so we should be able to roll every map in pretty good. And we're going all Exarch tonight. I could throw like Beast on a couple, but after that, I don't care. Um, cause we are a bossing build. We're gonna be have Metamorphs in there. Uh, Expedition Ambush. I think that's fine. Harbinger. And then I also rolled this into here, so we got Lightning Monsters, Valve Monsters, um, a Shrine, and Mysterious Barrels, doesn't matter, I guess. But I guess it's extra quant. Uh, yep. That's the strategy for tonight. Um, this is what my uh, thing looks like here. So I still have all the boss stuff up here. I am hoping that I drop these maps a lot. And I'm gonna hit the boss every time. And because it's double boss here. So hopefully this will this will be good for me. Yeah, what up, Mel the Rocks? How you doing? When I'm ready and not before. So hopefully we have good uh, quality today. Not a lot of latency. That'd be nice. Oh baby, already. We hit it on the first try. Is that... That's a beautiful. Operative Strongbox on the first one. 
Uh, which means I need to roll that. It's never rolled. It's always like a regular one. Three additional scarabs if I give the boss a bunch of armor. Or unique items uh, can be duplicated. I think the... I mean, the unique is the high rolly, right? Can I get a double headhunter or whatever, right? Um, but I think we're supposed to take scarabs to start. Something's hitting me. What is this one? Additional gem, that sucks. All poison hits. I think we want the one that's not a chance, right? Is this less recovery map, too? Because I'm not regening any health here, what's happening? 78% less recovery, oh yeah, there it is. Well, that's bad, because I got this on life tap here. I'm gonna kill myself. Where's the rest of this Arbiter? Well, I think I also take more damage, too. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm never gonna recover this health. Too much clutter. I gotta do a new strategy for my uh, other thing, so. Alright, so less recovery is like real bad. We gotta not do that. It'll take me the whole rest of the map to heal. Um, oh, I have one more altar I should do. Uh, vulnerability we already have, right? Isn't this the vulnerability map? Scarab's dupe, or... I mean, the implicit modifiers I are, are dumb. Armor. We don't ever need that. Because what am I going to do with that, anyway? Alright, uh... I want to do this as well. So... This is my original recipe. This, uh, it's not, why is the search not working? My original recipe, but I'm gonna do this other recipe to make a hexer as well, so we can do the temporal bubble. Because the temporal bubble actually has expedition in there, and I don't even need scarabs anymore, so I think I'm gonna be off of scarabs. Um, but uh, to do temporal bubble, I need hexer, and hexer is this mid-tier one, which requires a chaos weaver. So that's gonna be our bottleneck now, is the Chaos Weaver. To get the expedition stuff. Because I need some Gwenon rerolls. It would be nice if I get uh, a whole bunch of Gwenon rerolls like we were getting. Uh, um, like I was getting as many Scarabs. Like if I can get that in, uh, in Gwenon rerolls instead, that'd be great. There's a lot of other currencies we can get instead, though. But if it's Tujin or something, I guess that's also fine. Rog is maybe the worst one. But there's only one that's the worst one. Out of all the rest, they're really good. Ready, exile. I'm gonna die. To hunt. This last uh, regen is bad. We didn't even do the Delirium on this one. Uh, I'm gonna have to reroll those uh, ones that have that then. Let's see if we have blog books on this one. Currency, fire damage. I don't think we do. Lens item, that sucks. Alright. Uh, cast damage is fine, right? Can't be crit. Need the fire damage. I guess that's fine. That shouldn't be all the damage. We have cold and lightning still, so fire. All right. We'll bring out all the boys.
Bring out the full team. The full Skelly team. That exotic coinage. Not on my watch. Okay. Then we'll do this guy. Am I doing 83s on this one? I need more mana. Uh 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 uh. Ooh, a Dunes map? I guess I don't need that. I'm still qualifying stuff, so I guess I should pick those up. Maps a little slot. Holy! You have been captured, beast. You will be a survivor, or yeah. you will be food. I gotta remember to do this box before we go too far away, too. Ice Nova, of course. I mean, is that real? That was all from one. I got a Harbinger, Expedition, Shaper, Elder. Those ones suck. Metamorph and Abyss is whatever, but yeah, I mean, it's still worth. That's a free, just a bunch of scarabs. I wonder if I can sustain scarabs just uh, by keeping those two points on the on the tree. And running like ambush scarabs, I guess. Might have to get a little lucky on it. Okay, I would like to put this here. <laughs> Alright, I dropped a Vampiric, so I guess we can roll an Assassin or the other one. Juves. Uh, minus 4,000 to my armor? For gems? We want the currency. We need the currency. I need to roll my uh, gloves. My gloves could use uh, minion damage on them. I mean, another minion damage roll. Okay. Uh, I already did this recipe. So we should actually do... Use the Vampirics, right? How many assassins do I have? Need to unfilter this, maybe. I have one assassin. And one low-level rejuve, so I guess we should use the rejuvenating, maybe. What is this... Currency? Uh, so, yeah, rejuvenating, uh, synergizes with that, then. What's the other vampire? Yeah. <gasps> Level twenty one despair, nice. Gems. <clears throat> I guess I have to be careful because I have no. <clears throat> I'm basically running with no regen. The less recovery here. Alright, double ember, that's nice. Got a lot of uh, burning enemies here. <clears throat> no, but I am running purity though, so I can't be ignited, which is nice. Because that would kill me for sure. But we got a lot of burning ground happening with these guys. I guess there's not really a... I guess there's some unaffected by burning ground stuff in the game, maybe. On like a unique or something. You have been captured, beast. You will be a survivor, or you will be fooled. Is there anybody on the side? Yes. Did they get him? Okay. Oh, weird that they have the enemies way down there. Juggernaut, that's a good job. Too much clutter. 
We're going to be using Juggernauts a bunch for the temporal bu bubbles, too. I can roll with this. Oh. Alright, so I guess I have to throw something in here so I can pick this up. Vampiric. Oh, I gotta pick up the Rejuve, though. My plan doesn't work. Oh, <laughs> uh, I can drop the lower level thing, I guess. Don't I have a lower level thing? 83s are nice. Uh, this one's 72 is kind of dead to me. Okay. Oh, uh, we actually have a monolith. All right, let's see how poorly I can do this then. I gotta get these altars too. Grand. Nice. I made a grand. You have been captured, beast. You will be a survivor, or you will. What is this one? Additional basic currency, and then this one is what? Implicit. We don't care about scarabs. Is all right. We have hinder. Here. Huh. Work it. Legions can be kind of dangerous. I'm gonna pull out I the big boys. Mana. They like they may not hit this guy enough before the time runs out. So we have so much AoE though that maybe the strat for that is to like stand in the middle, drop like the big skelly boys, and then use like GMP or something. Like when I get more power. And it might actually just be fine. That one we actually cleared pretty well though. Maybe because it's in a op more open area here. I'm ready and not before. There were some people on the edge that I think we didn't get completely. Oh, that was kind of nice. Um, there's a gold amulet, wild leather. Consecrator. I kind of do want... No, I guess that one's not this good anymore. Alright, this one. Is that it? It was two incubators? I dropped nine uh, embers already, though, so that's pretty good. That's already kind of worth... Just the currency alone. As you can sell it in bulk, and I can also use it to upgrade my gloves. The original reason is because uh, I looked up the mod pool for what the uh, Exarch things can roll on gloves, and uh, it has minion damage, so the other one doesn't roll minion damage, but we did get increased effect of your marks, and I'm using sm Sniper's mark, so that one synergizes well. Uh, I guess we kind of want the uh, unique item. Although, more Eldritch Ember currency is always great, so. so I like adding stuff to the boss, because they have the double boss. So. Plus, I kind of need to high roll the uniques. So we're just kind of... Because at this point, you know, the little drops are nice. Like, slowly making enough currency is always, is always consistent, right? So we definitely want to do that. Um, but I've been taking, like, every opportunity to add more uniques to everything, because, um, you know, one of these days I'm gonna high roll a headhunter or a squire or, I mean, last league I got a squire, was a great kind of, I kind of high rolled a squire last league. We write a mighty poem about it. So, because basically what happened was, uh, I found, uh, a really good one in... Ritual, and then I sold it for it was basically the same price as the Squire at the time. So I'm gonna die here. Yep. I don't have enough recovery to actually deal with the chaos damage in this situation. I usually already have enough rec uh, recovery, so I just stand in it and it's fine because I got 65 chaos resistance, but with the 78 less recovery, I guess I don't. I guess I don't have it. Okay. 
Uh, and everyone's still alive though, that's nice. Did I forget to make the portal though? I always put a portal. Yeah, I didn't do it. Badge. I guess we're running. Do I have auras on my boots? Yeah, all of my when boots are auras. And not before. It's unfortunate. Because I could uh, throw on some... What is it? Seven League Steps just to run around the map. But then I have to rerun all the auras. I guess there's nothing over there. Still a pretty good map layout because it's like linear. <clears throat> and the sections are like pretty enclosed too. So it's like three small enclosed sections. Too much clutter. So I guess I don't need to pick that up, right? I've already decided against it. Yeah. I'm gonna get chaos degened again. I need more mana. Can you die? Mm. Is this DJ in here? Oh shit, I do need to make the sale actually. Alright, let's see if we die on this. I'll bring out the big boys. Did I get him in the sniper's mark? Oh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I knew he was gonna degen me like hard, so. Just blast softcore strats. Oh, I, I rolled my wand successfully. By the way. With uh, the delve, the fossils. The fossils came through for me. Uh, and I did it in way less than 12, too. I think it took me like eight, maybe. Something like that. I rolled it like three more times after yesterday. Um, but I'm out of shuddering, so I have one more corroded. Everything else is fine. So, but anyway, I rolled it. I could continuously roll it because my prefixes kind of suck. Like, the tier eight is bad. But I got the 2 plus 1, so it's already an upgrade to what I have right now. But I can't put the trigger on it, so I need to get a reroll uh, key prefixes, uh, which I think goes for about an X uh, on TFT. So I could do that, because I have a couple of X. Um, but yeah, it's not super important, because we're already kind of blasting everything. Um, but it would be a nice upgrade. When I'm ready and not before. Grand map. These gloves, I guess, aren't worth anything anymore. They used to be good. I corrupted them uh, and got, like, a curse earlier this league. And I was like, oh, great. It was, like, exact. It was like the perfect one, too. But I guess nobody uses that anymore, so... I couldn't sell it or anything. Not worth anything. It used to be worth. And the funny thing is, is in the other leagues, I would never get the, I would never get the roll that easily like that. This is like a curse. Hexes, it's already a curse thing, you know. So when you get in people on hit, it's supposed to be good, right? But oh, I guess maybe. Well, I got another lucky roll again. All right, I guess. That used to be like. Insane currency to get that roll, but I guess it doesn't matter that much anymore. All right, so we're rolling the big daddy now. Sixty percent delirious. This has minus max temp chains reflect. Same, less less curses, deal more damage. I think that should be fine. We don't really do physical damage. I mean the zombies maybe and the anime guardian. If the anime guardian dies on this map, then. I guess I'm, I messed up, but... 
In my experience, he's just buffing people and doesn't do that much damage, so. Hmm. It should be fine. Oops, that was a misclick. Loading times aren't too bad in this game. Alright, next arc, I guess we'll throw another beast. Harbinger all day. Um, if I had Harbinger Scarab, I guess I could also run Beyond, but... We're doing 60% Delirious, we don't need Beyond as well. I mean, we could, we could, we could. Nah, you know. <laughs> it would be kind of ridiculous. <clears throat> Alright, unique Harbingers and Incubators. I guess I could run, I should probably run my actual Metamorphs, so... Because, uh, that's actually a lot of the juice. You get a bunch of juice from actually killing the Metamorph in map, but then running the, the Metamorph in Tane's laboratory also gives you a bunch of juice. Because um, you're basically running, like, a, a all-boss version. So this temp chains when I got my flasks up is only a minus one action speed modifier because I got 90% curse reduction of curses. So that's why I don't really care if I if there's any curses rolled. Um, target by a meteor when you use a flask. What the hell? That's so weird. I mean the other one's currency, ready, so I'm like why would not I pick before. the currency one? And it's also currency from the boss, which is great because I'm already going to be do doing double boss. Alright, so now we get the simulacrums. I guess I can also run my simulacrum too. I'm like very close to getting. Uh, I almost had it at the end of last stream. I was going to run the simulacrum also at the end of the last stream, but the last stream was so long with all the bossing. Uh, I was just so tired. By the time we got to that point, I was not, not really wanting to do it. Additional for the minions, or you do drops one additional basic currency item on the boss. I guess guaranteed one drop is better than... I mean, 1% for all minions. I guess it depends on how many altars we see. And there is less chance with this type. Uh, Pretzel died, I guess. Our music is gone. I guess I'll switch to a different one. <laughs> what do we want to listen to? I need more mana. I guess I need to run these two. Uh, so I think I can do the temporal bubble now. It's hex, hexer, right? Hexer, then jug, then arcane. All right? I guess I don't have that many arcanes right now. And hexes, like, curses don't do too much against us either anyway, so. A reduction. So we can take our chill sweet time on this one. This delirium map here. So uh, we don't have to worry about the mirror expanding and all that. Uh, unique item is pretty good. Player gains. Additional unique. Because we got the unique roll already. So oh, there's my city square starting to drop. <clears throat> Snake pit. We probably don't need that. Storm weaver, shore map is fine. Uh, I do want to throw these on as soon as possible here. I'm really lucky I'll just see a harvest myself, but I'd have to see it and it have the, the exact thing I need, and it's probably not going to happen, but I'll probably have to buy it later. Uh, minions are basic currency duplicated. When I'm ready and not before. I guess I'll take Scarab. So the, so this one also has Scarab rolls too, so I guess it, in that sense it's the same as Eater Worlds. Except for uh, Eater Worlds, the altars have a higher chance of showing up, and you don't take 10% more damage each altar, so... I think Eater Worlds might still be the easier one to do. Cluster <laughs> Jewel's nice. 
though, but I need I need some searing and currency anyway, so that's fine. And I wanted to test it out. Because I don't really see too many people doing the searing one. Maybe they are. Maybe there is a lot of people doing it. Someone's getting the currency. But it doesn't really make sense to do both of them, so... Level 2 Innervate? What the hell? A Val Summon Skeletons? I guess we could level that up. <clears throat> but it might be better to just uh, level an Enlighten or something. <clears throat> might not actually be that much currency. I think everybody that needs one already has one anyway. Um, what am I doing again? Temporal bubble, text jug. Um. This guy does like vortex. Oh. Vortex is damage over time, which is not great for us, but D gens are what kill me. But cold is what I'm most uh, resistant to. This is a beast. Yellow beast. I love hunting. <laughs> this one is captured. I know I will take it. <laughs> Getting a little shaky in here. Oh, we got the we got what's his face, Kosas or whatever. Because this is a sixty percent, so we're gonna see both bosses on this one. I think. I think it's pretty much guaranteed. Forty percent, we will very likely see both bosses, but maybe not. Oh shit! There's a DJ. But we'll see, like, at least one, maybe. I should put my single target on. 20%. We could still see it, too, but maybe not. 18, nice. Usually it's 15. Cool. I think I have enough to run the thing now. Heavy belt? No, it's not the one. I know you all were so excited to see a heavy belt drop. Ouch. Alright, I guess this is kind of a weird blow up. It started out as something and then now it's just... I guess stick to the classics, maybe. I also think that some of the songs on, on the playlist count for multiple playlists. So I'll like constantly hear the same ones over and over again, no matter what playlist I pick. It's only noticeable because I stream for so long consistently and always use the same thing. Uh, do we want just more quantity? This is... No, we want currency items. Small chance, but... That wasn't a very good Scarab drop. I don't know, it might be worth not... Uh, it might actually be worth skipping the Scarab just now. Because I have so many. But, if I'm gonna be like, using them constantly... We need some way to generate them again. Is that a delirium already on it? That's beautiful. That's so beautiful. So I have my favorited system set up to, to drop those maps. So now, uh, what'll happen is uh, with the pathological on the tree, 
if I get one that has some delirium on it, it will most likely be uh, the, my favorite map. Because I have all my favorite map slots open now. We're seeing a lot of unique strap, but they're worthless ones, it looks like. But unique a unique farm is kind of a high rolly in this game. Until we slaughter you. <laughs> like most of the time you're gonna get uh, uniques that everybody has seen a billion times. Most of the time. When I'm ready and not before. So. But every once in a while you might hit like something real nice. And that's what we're going for. We're going for the once in a lifetime insane drop. I guess I should do one grand heist so I have one extra incubator spot. Uh, do I have a thing for this? Not even a chance orb or anything in here? I guess there might be one on the floor. Actually, it's not likely there's one on the floor. And even if there was, it would be hidden. It would probably be hidden by my filter. Because <laughs> who's picking up single alchemy orbs? I should probably just carry them on me, I guess. Too bad these simulacrum splinters can't stack, right? Alright. Thing's a little off. The area. I guess I do want 21 C. You got 70 uh, hunters on that one. Okay, what does he want? Legion scarves? And how many? 12? Uh, oh right, 21. Alright, All right, we got one cluster jewel. I assume from from uh, from this, pathological. We got this uh, delirium map here. Minion's life? Oh, nice. I don't... I think I'm using this though, or am I? Am I using minion life? Yeah, I am actually. Okay, so this one... That one's fine. I need another renewal over here would be good. Yeah. Plus rebirth with a new renewal would be nice. Then I could actually consider dropping the other one altogether maybe, but... Uh, and what level is this? 83? So maybe we roll that with this one now? Roll these two. And then I don't know why that picked up. What do we get? Labyrinth items? That's actually the worst, but... I guess I'll take it. When I'm ready. Labyrinth items. That's an actual joke. Hurry, you're a monster's about. Experience. This is a rog one, but you can still drop log books, so we have to do it. But there's no like extra log book thing. Uh, but we do have logbooks in the tree, so... Off you go, little beast! Away! It's still not, like, completely wasted, I guess. Seems risky. Hope you unearth some ancient figurines. Trying to get the most runic monsters, really. Yeah.
Well, all of my minions are surviving fine with, you know, and I'm also surviving fine, like, walking through packs, so. Although these runic monsters can get a little scary. Depending on what mods you give them and stuff. So, but we're pro at Expedition. I do Expedition every league. Stay safe. Expedition was a good lead. Oh, you jump. Uh, I guess it takes a, lo a, a long, much longer time to clear these maps with all this delirium and everything on here, but... But we're getting a uh, pretty good... Pretty good drops, I'd say. Like, I don't think I'm gonna run out of currency during this strategy. Alright, I can buffer it. When I'm ready, and not before. I hit the wrong guy with the mark. <clears throat> Finally this thing sold, yikes. I've been trying to sell this temporal bubble, or this, uh, Esh thing forever, man. Uh, maybe he's not actually joining, Sedge. <clears throat> Remember to portal this time. Although I probably shouldn't die this time. Last time is because I had no regen, and this build kind of needs the regen. <laughs> Literally, uh, the the whole survival is regen because you can't leech with minions or anything. I mean, the minions can leech, but it's not gonna help your life pool. So you usually want lots of regen. Plus, you can give your minions regen, and they then you can also usually the minion regen notes have player minion player regen as well. You know so. Kind of goes hand in hand. Ooh, that was dangerous. This boss is kind of a scary boss. Eldritch Chaos, nice. Then we got these. This doesn't matter, this doesn't matter. This one also doesn't matter. And this one I want Catalyst, I guess. I already used my bell. Oh shit. I guess I have another Val. It charged up because there's so many You get so many minions with the with the uh Metamorph monster. He's got the delirium boss like effect. Uh, which is cool and scary. Okay. Two monsters remain. I guess we did it. I'm trying to think about it, I forgot anything on the map. We did the expedition, we did all the ambushes, and then the uh, Harbinger of Senate. I guess it's a pretty streamlined strategy here. So we're on to the next. This one has nothing, nothing bad. Uh, and but this one doesn't have the incubators on it, which I guess is fine. Those aren't really that strong. I was just using it because it's the, one of the cheaper ones to uh, get more, get the twenty percent more delirium. Uh, so I think it's not worth using a grand, maybe. But uh, we could use these lesser ones. The greater one also doesn't really matter. But we could just use it. Uh, so chaos damage to attacks is not good. Ignite and spread. 
Physical over time doesn't really help us. Frenzy charge damage. A nerve. Increased attack speed is hilarious. Chance to extinguish enemies. Extinguish enemies cannot inflict elemental ailments. We're immune to elemental ailments. We don't need crit. Physical over time. Mind throwing speed is hilarious. And I'm out of currency. Alright. Well, that was fun. But that was only two maps worth of currency, so we obviously we, 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 we roll in Harbinger. Oh, I need more, uh, I need more Sextons. Bum, ba, bum. And, uh, yo, what up, Captain Wales? How you doing? Physical Chaos. Uh, so they buff these void stones, by the way. Now they have the maps have 25% uh, tier one higher. So having all four of them gives you 100% additional chance, which you previously had to go real hard in the tree to get that kind of. You know, you had to go here and here and here and here to get all that to get the 100%. Now you just have 100%. Plus you have this extra 25 here. I guess it is 15%. Extra 15%. That's not too bad. Uh, did I roll the map already? All right, so. Doing well, I'm doing well. Today was actually a very chill day. My wife is away visiting her grandmother this weekend, so it's been all boys weekend. And uh, yeah, I'm not saying she like hypes everyone up all the time, because obviously she'll do that, but for whatever reason, people were just chill today. No one was really punching or fighting or anything. So. Thought who's the boss post? Yeah. It's for the comments you, you all are put on that are, are hilarious, by the way. They did come to the consensus that I am the boss. <laughs> So it's not like it was that much different, but it was just funny because they were discussing it. That's what I thought was funny about it. You know, like there needs to be discussion for that. The things kids convert say it about. Converse. Converse. This is a joke on community. Need to know who the boss is. Yeah. You need to explain to me. Consecrated ground on death. Poison. For the map boss, get two additional gems. I mean, we could maybe get an enlightened. But... I mean, a normal chaos degen probably is fine, because I do have 65% chaos resistance. And I did, I did have more, but uh, I think it's better to have the extra skeleton, really. But I could roll down to 11 skeletons right now to have the chaos resistance. Uh, so, but it's probably not going to happen really in the end because I the minion hat needs to be replaced completely anyway. Ah, it's very good. Just the basics. So the Searing Exarch ones aren't really that different. They're pretty much the same type of stuff. I need more mana. So, but I guess with the Eater, it's maybe still easier with Eater of Worlds. But I'm getting a lot of altars. So I don't know, the 50%, 20%, I guess it's still fine. Unique item. Maybe it just depends on the quant that you put on the thing. I think we want the unique item. 
It does drop quite a bit of unique items. Few unique items. And then hopefully we'll get the unique items are duplicated as well. And then we'll high roll into a mage, double mage blood drop. We only need the mage blood to drop one time, you know? We have a harvest on this one too. This is crazy. Mona is the boss. And community, yeah. It does kind of hurt my frames to run Delirium like this, though. Oh, uh, basic currency, yeah. Got a Carnage hurt. Uh, I guess I have to run the thing. I think I have enough to run the recipe now. I'll have to check. Might be ready. Ready to run the new recipe. Ooh, that was a that was a delirium bomb, I guess. I guess I'll look at a ghastly eye jewel. Probably won't be good though. When I'm ready and not before. When Chris still thinks that you need, you can just like easily roll stuff on the ground, it's hilarious. All right, so the new recipe is Temp Bubble. Oh wait, but not Temp Bubble. It's like actual Temp Bubble. Like this. So we do have a Temporal Bubble. And then it goes, I think the rest of it is, I don't think I can make another Temp Bubble. I need another Hexer first, and I need another Chaos Fever before I can do that. So, but if we start with a temp bubble, we can go temp bubble and then do the rest of this recipe, which would be Triant Horde, which we do have a Triant Horde. I have two Triant Hordes, and then Assassin and to Rejuve. Yeah, so I guess we're done to it. All right, give me some expedition currency. Let's go. Bubble's a little annoying because I got to go in there to get them. Get in there to get him. Uh, I'm, I'm tanky, so I could stand in there with him. Probably not gonna hit me anyway. Probably not gonna hit me anyway. Famous last words. Wild oh, leather. Yeah, these are bad. Bad dude. Bad dude. All right, where's my treant horde? All right, so now this should be crazy drop. Because every minion will have something. Crap metal. Crap metal is so unlucky. Oh, there we go. Four Astragalis. Beautiful. Not even a high roll, I don't think. This is a very annoying enemy, though, because my minions need to be in this bubble. Okay, there we go. I have too many minions that they probably won't all fit in there, which means it's going to uh, really limit my DPS during that. Because not all the skeletons are going to be hitting for effective damage. Dun, 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 dun. It's exile. We got a lot of mechanics in this one, apparently. <laughs> got Harvest and... The blight is trying to spread. We got Cassia now. I like this song. This song comes up so much. It's kind of a classic. Let's put out new mycelium. Oh, new roots. Did I make this flying yet? I don't think I did. Ah, it didn't work. I hate something where you have to click on it while you're flying. Are getting too close to my pump. Okay. Ready, Taking out the big boys. Which also means frame drops. Two charged compasses? What the heck is a charged compass?
Oh, it's the sextants. It's the already rolled sextants that I saved. That's what it is. I don't think I've sold any of those yet. I can't pick up enough, quick enough. Too slow. All right, I need a portal. Hmm. Oh go! Oh go! I can't click on it. What the heck? You know Patrick Harris was right. That is probably in this one. Which one does he want? Charge compass. This. Oh, you gotta tell me which ones. Whoops. How do I do this again? Which? I said two of them, but they're all different, so I don't know which one you're talking about. 12-12 is a uh, ritual. Ritual? I don't have a second ritual one, do I? Maybe in another tab? Oh. Uh, I do. That was uh, pretty smooth for the trade. Uh, accuracy, lightning damage, not that good. Okay. Kind of already passed that point. So, just the usual work in Maw. For some reason I came home today thinking everything was hurting. Pride, hot bath, episode painkillers. But you're just stiff. I use a like a, a big um, exercise ball and I do like exercises over it. And not before. Like to stretch out your back and you you can also do like push ups and and, and uh, ab workouts and stuff too. Cause uh and then maybe you also want to reevaluate how you sleep. That's the other thing that can really be that really stiffens your body up and hurts your stuff. I think life. Is cold help me? Actually, cold does help me, because I do need cold resistance, actually, on my clusters. But it would probably be better if it was actually all resist, but... So, we did actually find a harvest, so that's nice. We'll just have to see if we actually find the real, the real real. We actually find the good stuff. Four sockets is not the one. Enchant the flask with replace my enchants. That's that's stupid. All right, so uh, we're gonna re-roll this life one, I think. Um, or I could re-roll this eleven one as well. It's fine. Uh, life from death is good. Increase life movement speed. Cast. Oh, we don't want to give minions cast resistance, so that actually breaks the build. So we can't have Dread March. Plus Rebirth and Feasting. 10 life, 10 defense, 10 damage. Actually, that is an upgrade, maybe? Because it still has a 10. Like, I would, I would run this over the one I have, right? This one has Bless Rebirth, Feasting Fiends, Intelligence, and Cold Resistance. And it would replace this one. So I'd have to see if I can deal with losing the two elemental resistance. For the cold resistance, but it should work out, I think. I'd lose four of all the other resistances to gain ten cold resistance. Um, actually, I would only gain five cold resistance, right? Because one of them is going to get replaced with that new notable. Um, 
but it's still more than four cult resistance, so it should be fine. As long as I don't have two less, the other ones aren't exactly on. And I lose four of everything else? I think so. Because I'm exactly on cold, I could use a little more cold. Um, but it is fine, because I'll be always hitting the taste of hate anyway. I guess we want... Change of map. None of these are the ones I'm looking for, really. Run of the mill harvest. Oh. When I'm ready and not before. Right now you're lying on the couch. You can't move. You can't move at all. Seems like you're already way far gone. Where you would be able to do an exercise to help out your back. Sacrifice to corrupt it. Did you have uh, your... Didn't you have surgery or something? For that, uh... How did that go? Is that part of this? Or you're still waiting to, and that's why it's... That's why you're having the issue right now, still? Uh, 20% of the gem's total experience, right? Corrupted gem? That one's actually pretty good. I saved my level 21s for this. Uh, like, this reap is not worth anything, right? Well, it's kind of worth something. We could put the ambush in there. And then that's a ship kind of experience. Uh, speed? Reforge speed? I guess we're rolling this other one now. Uh, I need all attributes. Resist. This is almost perfect. I would need to slam it and get all resist. Um, oh shit, this has renewal on it. Damn, has no resist though. I do want renewal. I, I could use an extra renewal. I didn't get it on this either. I got Feasting Fiends. I have Feasting Fiends on my cluster, on my big cluster right now. Which is fine. I don't really need the leech, though. Increased damage, increased life is good. Rotten Claws is bad. We don't want that. All the Slaughter is fine. That's good. That has the increased movement speed and, and extra damage and stuff. Oh. But I just need, like, so many stats and things on the cluster, like, it doesn't even, the build doesn't work. Body armor enchantment? Do we want to switch this off of energy shield? Something else? Don't let him make it I don't think this matters that much. So these guys do chaos damage. Be a little careful. Ah! You dropped unique. I guess this can work for the AG, maybe? Unless it has chaos resistance, I forget. It does have chaos resistance. That's why I decided not to use that, maybe. Hold! I just. I still. I keep rolling this one, I guess. Feasting fiends, I don't really want. This is all attributes. Yeah. Getting kind of close. Yeah, you're still waiting? Yeah. Yeah, you're kind of in an unfortunate position at the moment until you can get that done. Good thing we have the. Oh, wait, I'm going the wrong way. Good thing we have the best healthcare out of any country that any money can buy. I need more mana. Assuming you have money to buy it. Or some sort of extra benefit. 
I think I saw somebody had a... What was I? What was it? It was like a benefit through... I can't remember now. But when I read it, I was like, this is so unfair. It was, uh... It was Peloton, I think. So, because you were a Peloton member, they were offering, like, additional health insurance perks or something. Or anything. Deal off for extra benefits. Whatever it is. Uh, whatever it is, it's, like, not fair, though, right? Because it's basically saying that uh, if you have the money to have a Peloton and a Peloton membership, then you have extra healthcare benefits over, you know, over someone who, do who doesn't have the, the money or the need to have a Peloton. So that, that whole mentality is already backwards right there, right? Because your health shouldn't be tied to like, what kind of perks and deals you have with like the businesses you support. Your health should be tied to whether or not you're sick. And, you know, if there's a hospital that can heal you of that sickness. Or whatever you need, health-wise. So, but, you know, it's really not surprising that there would be that, that kind of tie-in with the businesses and stuff. Because they're always looking for the bottom line. That's a good way to guarantee that, that Peloton gets more members. You know, to force people to get better insurance through it. Uh, I guess we can drop a big, big uh, minion horde happening here. Someone's blasting. Do I have a thing to put on this yet? No. Bad. Foul orb. I don't know if we want to just corrupt it. Back pain's awful, yeah. United Healthcare has an investment in Peloton? Yeah. I mean, they're probably partnered in some way that benefits them both, right? I mean, in the American, like, capitalist way of, of doing business, it makes total sense, right? But in, but having, like, premium things tied to people that have more money to spend on memberships and stuff like that is really not... It's really concerning, right? Right? Because what does that mean? Like, I mean, at, I don't. It's probably like some stupid benefits, right? Maybe it's not even anything worth. But uh, I don't know. I didn't read it. What it was. But it doesn't matter, right? Right? At some extreme level, it would be like, oh, you you can have like cancer treatment or something by having a Peloton membership, right? That would be like, you know, free cancer treatment or something. That would be real unfair, right? Because there's a lot of people that need cancer health care, right? And that's like very expensive medicine and stuff like that. And usually it doesn't even work out. Like, you know, cancer is still not a thing that's 100% cured. So, you know, that obviously it's probably not that because that people would be in uproar. But I'm just giving an extreme example, right? You know, like any level of benefit you have from just paying for something extra is already unfair, right? For something at, like your health, right? Or if, uh, or it could also be like you get preferential treatment or something, right? Like someone's in the hospital for like, you know, something more severe and then you get first, you know, you get to go in before them over something that's not life-threatening or something like that. Obviously, there's rules against that, so that wouldn't happen, but... No, oh, this is not a very good one either. And it's a rog. I'm getting so unlucky on these. When I'm ready, and not before. I guess we don't need that fire damage one. We're actually getting like decent freezes off on these guys. Which is not bad. 
I don't really have a lot of credit or anything. Lana. I was planning on trying to upgrade some, though. Get like a vicious bite roll on the on the cluster would work. Stay safe. So, but you just need a little crit to, because there's so many projectiles, you know. You're bound to hit with something. Assassin. A lot easier to be healthier when you have more money, yeah. And you can also buy more expensive food, right? Because all the health foods are more expensive, too. If you're really poor, most of the time you're eating, like, fast food stuff or, like, ramen or cheap cheap Walmart type of food, right? When wealthy people already get preferential treatment, yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's another thing that supports that, like, having Peloton benefits or whatever. It is not cool, but you know, I don't think anybody listens to me. <laughs> Or even if they did, like even if I had an ear in the government of the American government, they would probably be like, oh yeah, sure. And then they would be like, all right, this is how we make the most money, so F that guy. Oh shit. I shouldn't have put in my single target. <laughs> I didn't know there was going to be a harbinger in here, what the hell? Imagine if there was a thing in uh, in the game where like minions could get ricochet or something like the dead eye. That would be so OP. When I'm ready and not before. Yeah, see how much stuff drops just from the boss? The elegant round shield. So that is a squire miss right there. That could have been a squire right there. But the, it's the troll item that they added in just so that you couldn't guarantee that it's a squire. Ooh, my enhance is leveled. Uh, we got rejuvenating left. Does this lower the item level? Slightly, yeah. Okay. All the minions are still alive. Oh shit. Sure. This guy's like really gonna slow me down, huh? And exalt! Do I have to do I have to be in the bubble? Is that how it works? I feel like Or maybe this guy's just so tanky. We have a single target up. Holy. Why is this guy so tanky? I mean, he's not doing any damage to me either, but... We are also very tanky. Except for the Delirium D-Gens that keep appearing. Those will kill me. I'm not very good against d -Gen. Uh, maybe... Oh, it's because of Rejuve. He has too much life regeneration. That's the problem. Damn. How do I kill them? I gotta throw a frost bomb in there, maybe? To prevent him from regening. Because he's just, see, his health is going right back up. I need more mana. Yeah, I think we gotta do a frost bomb or something. Alright. Let's pick this stuff up, and then I'll go get one for a situational. Damn, I didn't think he was going to be that tanky. 
just with this uh, bubble. Hmm. Okay. Now we have a metamorph to kill also. <clears throat> so, I mean, the rules are just if you're rich, you're better off. Rules. But that's not really fair, is it? But I don't think they want it to be fair. Uh, do I have a frostbite? And then where do we even put it? It would be nice to auto cast it maybe, but uh, I'd have to like re-roll the wand. Wasn't great. Uh, get rid of flame dash. Get rid of feeding frenzy, I guess, for the moment. Okay, everybody's on. When I So, used to people on the transplants list, had no business being on them except someone had pulled strings for them. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure that is real not fair. Okay, we need to curse them. It'd be nice if we could get the Val thing going again. Yeah, this is working. As long as I don't die to the D-Gen. Oh shit. He's actually damaging me. What the hell? Speed codes. This guy's not gonna outrage on us, right? That's a little trick that you can do if you're uh, having trouble with. Oh, I and forgot about the trade. Shit. Sure. Forgot about the trade. What does he want? Arch oh. compass as well. Do I have single target? Yeah. Uh, it does take a little longer to do these maps because, uh, Got so much junk in him. Uh, I did my whole recipe, right? That's the only thing that I maybe forgot. I don't see any on the board though, so I think I did them all. I guess we'll hold on to Frost Bomb then, since this new recipe is going to be that same when I'm ready and not finishing with the rejuvenation every time. I think it's only because of the combination of the temporal bubble, maybe. So, it's kind of hard to sell these charged compasses if it doesn't tell me which one it is. Which?
We want uh, immortal, immortal syndicate intelligence. Yeah, what else? Do I have that? Yes. Okay. Yeah, they have, they might have to improve that a little bit. That is kind of hard to see what's going on with those. Um, I'm running precision, right? Uh, well, AG has not died. That's nice. AG has not died. We got two more rolls here. Fine throwing seed is now Herald of Thunder buff effect. Actually, that's pretty good, but not for this build. Increase attack speed again, also not. Unless I'm gonna switch to a shield charge, I guess. Okay, we rolling. The Searing Exarch, we coming for you, man. Harbinger. Oh, do I need more sextants? Damn, I wish I could just auto roll these. That would be like the craziest, uh, Folly of life. Ooh! Map bosses are accompanied by a mysterious harvester? Holy shit, I wonder how much that costs. Plants harvested in areas that are more likely common crafting less common crafting items? Oh shit. We have no guarantee to get a harvest though, I should probably sell that. Although I need that. I guess we can roll it because I'm a rich boy. Use it. Maybe that means we'll get a get a. They never notice how they never ever have a harvest on the map device ever. And then notice how the the atlas points for for harvest are like trash. It's like they just know it's too good, right? Two hundred experience. Fifty percent chance to spawn an additional monster. Like who cares about an additional monster? What does that even do? Gives you like one extra craft, maybe? The Sacred Grove contains an additional harvest. I guess that's cool. That's the best one, maybe. Because instead of three plots, you have four plots. And then this one is the Heart of the Grove, which who, who wants that shit? Nobody. Everyone's going to harvest a craft, not to fight a gigantic boss when harvest is already hard enough as it is. Harbinger. Okay. So ridiculous. It's by far the worst, the worst tree options I think you can get. Uh... Yeah. When I'm ready and not before. It's really bad if I'm not running an aura, so I like to double check. It's also like if I'm not running bone offering, it could kill my AG, so. Uh, so I do not have the full recipe anymore, right? And we don't have a Chaos Weaver. So I think this might be a map where we run through the map to hopefully drop a Chaos Weaver. Uh, but I do have Vampiric and stuff, so I guess I can just run a Vampiric this map. To have some space. This guy's really scary, though. Let's not do that guy. Uh, so Assassin was the last one we didn't make, right? Which I don't have any more of. We have one Rejuve still. So we'll start with Dead Eye then. I need more mana. So I think this strategy and running Expedition and running Simulacrum and getting the Searing Currency. Delta chart. Ooh, shit. Nice. Fossil. Okay. And then Harbinger, of course. Harbinger's just so good. Every time you drop an Exalted Shard, you pog. If uh, if you get really lucky, I guess I could also get a Mirror Shard. But I've never seen that. 
never personally seen a mirror shard. Sulfide. Another nice bay, <laughs> Delve. Who needs Delve? I guess Delve is fine, but I'm not gonna do it. Bird. Am I still using a single target item? We were clearing with single target on. Hilarious. This should clear faster then. I guess we tested out in the boss last time against the, uh... If you're really lacking on damage, I guess you could just go straight up. No, no extra projectiles. Since you still have 12 people shooting, it's still 12 projectiles, right? So it's usually like with all the skeletons everywhere and just they get displaced, so they're not all gonna hit probably. Before. Unless it's like a boss room and everybody's in the same room, then I guess they'll hit. Maybe. They'll probably hit everything. Okay, this guy we can pop this. These parts would be faster with single target, but we're just gonna use the vowel. I think it's good enough. Four times on the fusings. Oh shit, did something drop? Ooh, small cluster drill. Whoops, you accidentally closed the stream? Oh no! <laughs> Fine. You missed so much, man. We were chatting about I specifically you. Mind. Uh, does this uh, hurt anybody's eyes? <laughs> Is it too much stuff on the screen? Can that gain blast charges? Oh, that's bad, I guess. Unique dupe. I'll just take the one additional. The build is too strong. I don't think I can actually brick. There's not really much I can brick with this. Uh, I mean, the Maven fights and the Feared fights and stuff could be breakable, I suppose. Um, although I did do it last time. Successfully. We got a Gwenon, which is nice. Extra, extra bonus. Uh, but we need the Logbook one as well. It'd be a nice kicker, but... We got Currency, maybe. Additional Rare. Looks like no Logbooks. Badge on the no log books. Yes, add some spice. Oh, I have one more. Recover when life. I'm ready and not before. That should be fine though. I'll we'll put the vowel right here and then they'll just be in the middle. How would you like to get blasted with 12 skellies? Shooting three projectiles each. Mm. 
with that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Give him the high ground. Summon my skellies at the top of a hill. The battle of... The battle of the high ground. Getting a lot of cluster jewels on this Delirium. Nice. Still would be better to get the unique ones, but... Probably. Although the minion ones could be expensive to get a 12 drop, but I'll probably want to use it though. Four exalted shards. Let's go. Plus two. Six exalted shards. Oh man. I mean, Scourge League was was fun doing the low tier towers, but this is the real juice right here. Tier 16, put everything on it. And then I can start running the city squares after this. And that should be much faster. <laughs> Plus that has multi-boss too, so I think that will double up with the extra multi-boss. That might be actually a nice synergy that portal actually create. Now I'm afraid to use single target in here. Because look at this room. I'm not sure I actually got the uh, sniper's mark on the boss either. I got a... Oh, shit. Chaos damage, man. It's my only weakness. She's ghosted? Oh, uh, she's ghosted. It's ghosted. Unique stuff we got? Nothing really. The most common uniques of all time. As usual. Uh, those ones we have to pick. And I guess the stuff with stuff. Alright. Throw down the, the big boys again. The Skelly Team, go! I'm in a degen. How she? Nice. The double boss going into the metamorph, dropping two things every time, is is also pretty nice. I don't know if anybody's mentioned that you could, could go uh, double boss and then go metamorph and get double materials. Double boss, double currency from the double boss, and then with all the boss drops that you can add on with the with the new influence, and then double that up, and then get the metamorph and double the metamorph. Seems like nice synergy. If you're a boss in character. Otherwise it's gonna be really annoying trying to kill all those big minions all over and over again. Okay. Seven exalted shards that map, five astragalis. Pretty good, actually. Now, if only I played the game faster. Damage over time, increase the armor. Guess we'll throw something on this. So, I got a full simulacrum here. Not actually worth an exalt. So, we got a tier 16. Oh, right, with Labyrinth items. But it does already have 20 on it, so now we only have to spend one Delirious on it to get 40. So that's kind of nice. It saves me, like, 15c on that one map to have it already have 20. Plus, if it had 40 or 60 already, it would be it would be insane. It would be actually OP. It would make back all of its um, currency and the the shards it dropped already, so it would be, it would be fine. 
Uh, this needs two, right? Uh, it doesn't actually pump it up one more, Satch. This one's resistance, which I don't have any. This one's already maxed. My belt doesn't make sense to use it on, right? Because this one is not the one. If I get a headhunter or something, I would use it on that. I think we have video games, yeah. It's all just to distract you so you don't realize that the government is slowly sucking away your life and currency. But yeah. Um, but I do enjoy hanging out. Uh, I think it's good times for us. Got a Trian Horde here. Assassin. Rejuve. So I just need to make a Hexer. So I need, need to wait for the Chaos thing again. Uh, do I have any Vampirics? I guess is the question now. I have two Vampirics. So then we just need to make either Assassins or Rejuvenatings. I guess the next one is probably Rejuvenatings because it's a low level one. We need to go Gargantuan into Vampiric, so let me put these over here. Although we should do a 78 one for that one maybe, but... Fine, it'll average out to 82, I think. Precision, I'm not running, Satch. What the hell? Alright. Did I clear this map? I think it is. HIV rate in DC has been incredibly high because government refused to provide clean needles or address the disease to the nation capital. Are you talking about in the history? Like, back in the day? Cause they, there was like a lot of problem with that when it was first, like in the 80s. I don't know if it was just DC, I feel like it was everywhere, right? did full clear this, but I could. I don't need to do the League Mechanic more than we did it. I think we did it. Did it enough. So we got 18 today of, uh, of that already, and we got 9 of this, because I was out. Pretty sure I was out. And then this I needed to buy the Black Life, maybe. I was waiting. But we did get some of these Survive. as well. I think I got a Black Medallion. All right, so this one has less recovery rate of life and energy shield. What the chaos is really bad, so let, maybe we should re-roll this one. I think I discovered that that one was actually not great for us. Uh, this one is extra boss stuff. That's nice. Frenzy, less effect of curse is fine. Accuracy, that doesn't matter. So that one's even better. Quant too, nice. Back it up. Harbinger is my boy. You mean even today? Yeah. The DC still has a problem with it. Uh, but I'm I'm not sure that's the only place that has a problem with it. I need more mana. I wouldn't be surprised if it was uh not just DC. Just standing right on top of the Kang Harbinger like that. <laughs> Build so uh thank you. Another operative? Oh my god, I'm 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 the man. That's a, that's the way to do it, man. Two points on the tree, just to get the operative box, and then just throw the frickin' and just throw the one ambush scarab in, and profit. Easy. My goodness. And not before. So many scarabs every time. This is why scarabs are like dirt cheap this league. So, I mean, you could just have three. You could just spend the three points, I guess, and have 
guaranteed without the ambush scarabs, because ambush scarabs are kind of expensive, but I think it's worth it just put the scarab and then you can save three points on the tree. It doesn't really help you. It just gives you like percent to roll it again or something, which is like whatever. It isn't just DC, that's one example, yeah. That is a sad realization right there. You lost a check? Oh, damn. That's not good. Don't do that. Your car got hit, too? Damn. And you got the surgery coming up. You're just having an unlucky time. I guess I should do this one. They're both low level vampirics. Yeah. It's fine. Still an 81, I guess. Mm. Oh, did it still drop an 83 Rejuve, though? Really? Oh, nice, it does. Well, that's cool. Maybe because it's the area, it matches the area level, maybe. You're at a client's house and you're having an argument with the landlord. Oh, the client was having an argument with the landlord. I need more mana. I'm not getting Mary Alters on this one though. He's in the van. He started to leave. Backed his van right into your car. Oh, he took responsibility. That's not bad, then. The car is still drivable, yeah. That's usually the major thing, right? Like I have a, t like my uh, dad accidentally backed my car into my mailbox when he was visiting one time, like several years ago. And I still haven't fixed it because it's nothing that affects the car. Like I just put a piece of tape over it so that no water will get in the light bulb area. And then that's it. <laughs> I haven't fixed it. I should fix it though. It does kind of annoy me. They are coming. But it's just like, with the no, three man. kids, I'm like constantly bussing everybody around. You know, we can't really give up a car for a long period of time. And the body shop people are usually like slow as hell. Like, you really gotta schedule that. Can't just be like, oh, I'll just drop it off on a Tuesday. You might not have your car for a week. So. Plus, I'm not excited about how expensive it probably will be, even after the pandemic and everybody raises their prices. Car uh, repair stuff was already very expensive. Like, anybody would tell you that having a car is just a lose money situation, you know? It's really just paying for the convenience of being able to go wherever you need to go. Um, you know, which if you live in the suburbs and have kids, you can't, you're, you're kind of required to have a car because you can't really walk children around and they always need car seats and stuff, so you can't just like put them in a cab. Most cabs are not prepared for children unless you like call ahead or something. Car prices are crazy. Are you talking about buying cars? Or are you talking about repairing cars? Probably all of the above, right? The prices of everything is crazy right now. All fabricated by the capitalist institutions. Big business. They're making out like bandits right now. 
prices of everything have gone up like at least 25%, right? I haven't seen everybody get 25% raises though. I asked for a bigger raise. They give me they usually give me a 2% raise every year, which is horrible. But the bonuses are kind of okay. So I've like kind of accepted it because, you know, I don't need that much more money. I just feel like a little bit more comfortable to be able to take my family on vacation or something, you know? Instead of having to spend every single amount of money on, um, you know, just the children going to school and healthcare and stuff. When I'm ready and not before. You know, it'd be nice to take a trip every once in a while. Not too much to ask, right? And then that would also require my job giving me more vacation time too. Because I have an abysmal 16 or 15 days of a. Uh, for the whole year. It's not a lot of time. So. Of course, the, uh, the shut up and play reaction to that would just be, you know. Well, you work from home, so you know, how can you even complain? So, my argument is basic human rights, man. Basic human rights. You should be able to spend time with your family. You shouldn't have to work your whole life. It's so weird, you know? Because this country is like so heavy on like, oh, think of the children all the time and like making laws and like trying to ban what we, what gets taught and stuff in the schools because they're so concerned about their children and stuff like that. But then when it comes to like normal basic healthcare and needs and like spending time with your family and being home and stuff like that so you can like go on vacation and stuff like that, it's like, oh no, man, you haven't worked 80 hours a week, you're a lazy sack of shit. You know? I mean, do the dads... Are there really dads out there that are... Well, I guess there's all sorts of dads. But, like, I'm on the side of, like... I would rather work 30 hours a week or have every Friday off or something like that so I can have more time with my kids and my family and take them to things. Because, you know, a lot of times my wife is the one that takes them to things because she gets out of work earlier than me. And it's not like I don't want to do it or I wouldn't do it, but it's just like, what am I supposed to do? Like not do my full job description. Mm. Or just like, you know, skip out every once in a while. Mm. I mean, I'm sure people do do that. I mean, I have a pretty good repertoire of my job. You know, I mean, obviously, if they're still giving me raises. But, I don't know, maybe I should, uh, maybe I should start to give the, the probes I have to give the probes, refresh my resume, see if I can get any, get any hits. Yeah. Just to put some pressure on them a little bit. They won't match though. There's like zero chance they'll match. Nobody matches anymore. When I'm ready and not before. It's terrible for business. It's easier to just hire a new person. Uh, and I like the people I work with, you know, so I would like to work there, you know, but it's just like terrible for me business wise to continue to take such heavy losses by them giving me raises that don't even account for the inflation. <laughs> I'm making more money every year, but feeling more poor every year because the same amount of money doesn't pay for as much stuff. Does that make sense? It's terrible, isn't it? Yeah. I'll be the one person that's like, oh, shut up. At least you have a job. I don't know why I keep picking this up. 
I used it on my other build. But it's not really worth anything. Unless you already have it six length, I guess. Um. Alright. So we did our stuff. We need another map, I guess. What is, uh, we could run the simulacrum. What time is it? 11? Um. I already have another 247 to a second simulacrum. Holy shit. Maybe I'll just run simulacrums back to back. Maybe that's the way to play. Maybe that's the way to live. This one has the double bosses. Does that mean I get four bosses? I don't think it works like that. I think it just is the same, but it still counts as free quant, basically, so why would I not do that? Double boss usually gives a pretty good amount of quant. I did the rog. There, was, there wasn't a harvest, was there? I don't remember. I'm probably always forgetting something. Uh, the St. Vincent's in New York City treated a disproportionate number of people with AIDS and wealthy patients stopped going there because of it. They treated the majority of patients from 9-11, but the hospital got some financial trouble. So they decided, the city decided not to help them and they closed. That's terrible. Yeah, I have a friend who actually wrote a whole book about it, about the healthcare after 9-11 and about how people in New York City Ground Zero area basically got destroyed and then got double destroyed by not having any benefits to get healthcare from that specific thing, which they all needed way more healthcare than the average person because of that, right? And as they should. What does working from home have to do with anything? It actually helps, it should help the companies more than it helps me, but it is convenient for me. Dad's died at work freaking out about his bagel being stolen? There's no way that's true. You're always, you're always trashing. I'm ready and not before. You're always trashing. But I've come to appreciate it after the, at this point. So you're reading that great resignation that people are quitting now because they don't want to go back to work because they're less buying power. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, for real. It's actually gotten to the point where, um, you know, working and just being poor are not that uh, far off to the point where it's not actually worth working, which is really bad. That's actually the worst I've ever seen anything in terms of like jobs and stuff. Pandemic has really destroyed the middle class and, and everything below. So, I, need more I mean, this country is like set up to just keep keep crushing the bottom. You know. I mean, there's literal people that tweet every single day about how. The most rich people in the country pay like 1% tax or 3% tax or, you know, meanwhile the rest of us are paying somewhere between 25 and 35% tax. How does that make any sense? And then the justification is it's like, oh, well, we're still giving so much money because we have so much money. Like we're still paying way more money than the 35%ers ever would, you know? But like that, that's not really, like that's not how it works. Like a deflection argument. <laughs> Your luck is over. So, and we also wouldn't be under so stressed infrastructure wise and a lot of the uh, like government run things if we just collected uh, like, even if we collected 15% from the billionaires instead of 3%, right? Even 10%. Move it up to 10%. You know? I guess we want currency first. That would that alone would pay for 
like everything. But the thing is, is I don't want to use the money on that anyway, so it would just end up getting funneled back to the rich people anyway. It's like it's really dumb. They would much rather it's actually cheaper for the government to just let things break and then repair it, I think. Which is very risky for people's lives. When I'm ready and not before. So, I don't know. Is that how I'm gonna go one day? I'm gonna be driving over a bridge that hasn't been uh, given any sort of maintenance for the last like a hundred years because uh, the people that are in control of the government um, of that area have spent all their money on making sure that their investors are happy with uh, their partnerships. And then like the bridge just collapses and I just fall to my death. And then they give my family like some really horrible like payoff. If even, if Come even on I'm now. that lucky, <laughs> if even I'm, if I'm that lucky to get an insurance payout from it, I don't think I have anything to roll in these yet. Sponsors grant additional experience. Gen is a good one to get, uh, but we're still not getting a logbook roll, which is sad. Oh, we actually got one that's minions. Wow, that's perfect. Hilarious. The minion one on the minion build. Extra skellies. How many skellies do I have now? I don't know how many of this gives me. Does that mean that I actually summon mages from the from that as well? I don't think so. They look like melee still. It would be cool if it synergized with the dead reckoning jewel, but maybe that would be even more. It would be like leaps and bound even more OP to do it like that. It'd be too OP. Physical community, I guess is fine. Can I not put this one here? Oh, there's a rock. Risky choice. A horribly placed rock. Runic. That kind of thing. One of these. You can feel the anger boiling, talking to people across the country. Yeah, I mean, it can't go like this for too long, to be honest. Like, if it gets to the point where people really don't want to work, because every business is paying like shit, then that's going to end up being riots, right? We're pro or some sort of protest, right? I mean, there should already be protests, but if we get, like, the majority of people that want to protest, then it's a problem. When I'm ready, and not before. I think right now there's still, like, a lot of people that are rich enough to not care. That's the thing. Oof! I actually survived that. Is that me just taking additional damage because of the Searing Exarch thing, or...? Maybe I just I didn't have all my defenses up or something? Masks. Last we're down for the heavy degen. I might have rolled like minus four thousand armor or something. I didn't even look at the rolls. But that would potentially hurt my build quite a bit. Ooh, I can't get down here. I need more mana.
More harbingers. Does that mean there's gonna be a harbinger in the boss room as well? So many harbingers. So many harbingers. The whole American system of suburbs is a giant Ponzi scheme. Tax suburbs don't generate enough revenue to maintenance. The only way it works is if there's constant growth. Keep building. Yeah. True. Oh, the boss is in the boss room. Oh, shit. I have the Delirium boss in here. With the Harbinger. Well, that's a problem. Oh, yeah, okay. Howie? He's gonna be doing his charge-up thing eventually, too. Yeah, there it goes. We could pop her for a quick second with the sni sniper's mark just to get her. She's almost dead. Yep. And then put it back on him. Because he's very tanky. I should actually move to single target for him. But we're actually doing fine. Got it. Okay. Maybe I should get this metamorph going while I got the skelly boys up still. Although I'll get another one. Probably. When I'm ready and not before. have so much metamorph stuff to run to. So many splinters, man. Delirium. This is actually a delirium league for me. I think this is the best farm. What did I roll on this? Nothing. Can we treant horde at least? Oh, we can. Toxic. Alright, I guess we'll do that then. Toxic Sentinel Steel. So yeah, that's not... We're in kind of a bad position. The pandemic has really ex exaggerated the poverty of this country, which already was not good. Yeah. I feel like it's a double country. It's a, uh, um, the country, uh, if it, if you're like a rich, if you're pretty rich, then the country feels like a first world country, very beneficial. But if you're uh, below, you know, like millionaire, I would say maybe, then it feels like a third world country. such a consistent beat. Alright, this, this, this. I guess I'm going through these pretty quickly as well. Um, didn't see a harvest on that one either. Maybe I'm wasting my, my things here. Like if I had, because you could roll one of these that says that gets a harvest, and then you have the one that gets the better harvest, and you put them together. I only have one use remaining on these now. Essences, magic monsters, fine. I don't think anybody's looking for essences anymore. Okay. 
I wonder if I have enough city squares that people will start trying to buy them for me. No, there's only three. Is I delirium this other one? We almost have two full semi-acrums from tonight. Here's the last delirium that I have right now. Uh, that I pre-rolled. This is the last one. We have this new one that dropped though. And this one... I could sell for the cost of the delirium orb probably. It looks like. Though that's not worth it, I don't think. Uh, minus max. We could try to reroll this one actually, because this is the lowest quant out of all of them. And I was pretty consistent getting the higher quant. Uh, buffs expire faster. That seems bad though. Plus recovery is really bad. All right, this is only a 72. This one seems fun. All the boss stuff. <laughs> and they're possessed. I don't have the possess synergy. I guess uh, if I got that in the tree, it would be even more OP. Uh, we run, we ran one extra. We ran one extra, didn't we? Ambush, metamorph. It was harbinger, right? I think I have a gilded one. We can go. We can really pop off on this last one. Uh, oh, I'm just kidding. I don't have a gilded one, but we do have five of these ones. So I guess I'm. Going Harbinger. Oh wait, I wasn't even rolling. I wasn't even rolling Harbinger. What was the other Scarab? It was Metamorph, Ambush, and... Metamorph, Ambush, and... I forgot what I put in there. Oh, it's Expedition. Okay, so we do Gilded Expedition. Okay. That was the whole strat. All right, Harbinger is on this device. That's why I don't need it as a Scarab. But I could double juice it. It'd also be fine. You always hear politicians in the USA talk about small town values, but when you see them actually never stand. Yeah, yeah, they're definitely not small towners. If war breaks out in UK, it's gonna make things even harder. For supply and demand stuff. For oil. I'm sure uh, this country will, would never really end up fully with, with that kind of problem. Right? Because if we ever ran out of something like that, we would just go to... We would just go to war. That's how the United States rolls on that kind of stuff. You know, it's a sad, it's kind of a sad realization too. The United States is running out of like hard resources. We're just gonna go like take over some country and take theirs. I need more mana. What's gonna happen? And we're gonna like gonna be spun like they're terrorists and they're treating their country terrible. And we gotta save them from themselves. And we're like the Christian saviors. And then we kill all their people and take their resources. Before. I actually do not need dead eye. So many dead eyes. I guess I could still pick it up. Uh, unique items, I guess. 99 physical damage has extra chaos. That's kind of scary. Yellow. We don't want a full war with Russia? Yeah, I don't think we would go to war with Russia. Have to be a weaker country.
but Russia is... I feel like they're a country that we would just politically align with, for better or for worse. That's, you know... I mean, Trump was already trying to do it, right? He was already in there. He's already in there trying to get the resources. Like Bush was in, was friends with like all the people in the Middle East, like hanging out in Saudi Arabia and whatnot. I had some friends in high school that lived on American compounds in Saudi Arabia or something, and they were there. They were basically just to get probably just to get some military resource power, <laughs> diplomat. Trap! Don't pick up any heist stuff. Oh shit. That's a lot. A lot of damage. A lot of these like degen exploding things that turn into like a slowdown pool on the ground. Well, the only thing that would make this league any more perfect is if I actually dropped a mage blood or pulled one from Gwenon or something. Then we, then it would be the bomb. I guess I could also drop a mirror or woodwork, and I could just buy it. This is. I've been trying to sell this for a while, but that's for whatever reason not showing up on my uh, macro, which is annoying. But... When I'm ready, the I'm person doesn't cool. have like a. Doesn't look like they have a Korean there. For some reason, like the. Uh... <gasps> Korean players, I guess their characters don't show up in the macro or something. Doesn't always work out. Uh, what did he say? One of the burning damage. Here. I almost sold this before, but they uh, person like skipped on the trade. Okay. Oh shit! I wanna pop this. Elemental damage. I suppose someone could be using that. It's generic enough. It's the only vampiric I have, I think. Now I have this one. Now it's frenzy. We could throw that in there next, just to try to get more uniques. <gasps> Ideally, we drop a Chaos Weaver, though, and I can use that as my last two spots. I'll full clear before I do the next one, I guess. Timeless Monolith. Come on now, don't go all day. See, it's not gonna hit these currency ones in time, is it? Oh, I got it. Maybe I missed the div card. I think. Echoist is fine. Oh, we are getting some Legion Splinters, not bad. Mm. Alright, we're getting a little too droney, I think. 
Tenth Wave. The classics. Techno is one. I, I actually haven't listened to their techno playlist yet. When I'm ready and not before. It might be bad. Corrupted. We want log books. We want log books. Currency from fire immunity. Itching for me to lose another limb, are ya? That should make things interesting. This is a lot right here. That was a juicy one. Ready? Did I get them in the cold though? No, I don't think I got. I mean, technically we could still do immune to cold because uh, we have lightning damage, but I wouldn't want to do that many damage types. I need more mana. Or we don't do damage. The shock is pretty significant. Oh. Actually, I have an essence mount. Pretty square. I've dropped at least one map. One favorite map of map, right? Oh, shit! What is that? Was that like a boss? There was like a huge dude. There's a huge like searing exec dude. Maybe I maybe those were always there and I just killed them so fast I never saw them. I think it's the chaos damage, guys. Fairy Storm Run. Yeah, let's go give this guy his stuff. <laughs> Turbulence. Where's that? How many? 35. I gotta be a little careful with the maps though, because I don't actually want to sell these city squares. <laughs> I got two simulacrums here though, that's nice. Like, I don't think I actually want to sell these. So let's put them in here. I can roll them later. Someone seriously just text me and oh, okay, there he is. He said thank you. Uh, watch party is... Usually we start around like 12, 12.30. I guess I'm almost done, I just I finished the last that. map. I could run the simulacrum and then we could do the watch party. It would be nice to have some uh, Twitch footage of a simulacrum run, actually. Uh, I want something that gives uniques. Can I search like that? That's not the one, but... 
Oh, the door is closed. <laughs> Funny. More splinters. Alright, so do we find both bosses? Is there a boss in here? All the bosses are in here? Yep. And the bo and our boss is possessed as well, and they have extra chaos damage. This might be very bad. Yeah, I'm feeling that chaos damage. Away! Love how we keep getting the the major uh, delirium boss in the boss room. <laughs> Oh, this is the minor boss, actually. Alright, we fought the major one already. This is the other guy. What's his name? Oh, oh shit, I'm in the D gen. Pulsus, or whatever his name is. Um, so yeah, I guess, like half an hour-ish? Well, uh, I mean, we usually stay up pretty late on uh, Saturdays. And we we have pretty light uh, pretty light watch party homework for tonight. When I'm ready and not before. It's just uh, it's just uh, an animated, very chill, you know, pretty easy watch, so you don't gotta like go too hard. I guess we're throwing these in there. So, have a nice relaxing. Nice relaxing viewing. Only two episodes? No, we have six episodes to watch tonight. We have six episodes to watch tonight. Um, I guess I should run these metamorphs too. I have so many metamorphs now. Those currency ones. What does he want? Fossils. I got more of these, so. Would I have attack speed? Ignite. Shocks, but I don't inflict them. There it is. Minions deal 14% increased damage, and that's the lesser one. And I got 19 on it as well. That's that's huge. 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 But that could be that could get way better. Plus we could bless this. Right? The seven is already the highest for the other one though, so we want sixteen seven for this one. Yep. Two rolls easy. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. And did I lose a dude? I lost my goal. These are my gloves. You didn't think there were that many? Well, they were coming out with three a week, right? So the first week they had three episodes, second week they had three episodes, right? So there's 12 total episodes. Did I get any Ancients? Ooh, I got four Ancients. I guess, what am I even selling in this tab? Why do I have this not selling right now? Uh, is this our lucky belt? Lucky, lucky, belt of the deceiver. And one, two, three. Pop it. Pop it. Pop it. Let me. 
I already have a gluttony, really. Alright, well, I'm gonna keep one all the time. So we'll save that one, I guess. We could add. When I'm ready, and not before. We got some Gwenims to roll, we could do those. Uh, what's it called? The uh, Gwenim Regex Top Core Generator. This thing is the bomb. So we probably only want stuff that's like Exalt ish or more expensive. Right. Uh, yeah. Let's get shorter and shorter as you go. And you type that into here, and then when you have to reroll, it already gives you the thing. I guess I don't have uh, the jewels currency, which is fine. We really only want to look at the belts. Belts, 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 and I guess I would take an Arrow Kelly's Fang, sure. Flyer Shield would be a good... Ooh, I don't care about where I slot those, though. Ten rerolls are getting a little unlucky here. No, no belts. No belts. I've got a few more. Great, so... I mean, I did like that. I think I did like a thousand. Go well. I did like thousands of rolls last league, and didn't get the headhunter. So the headhunter or the other one, the mage blood didn't get either. Always love these exotic coins. Or just mines. It's probably not worth whatever they're asking. Plaza corrupted. There's no achievement for that this league. I guess I would take this. It's worth it. Sure, why not? I don't I'll take it. <laughs> well, that was a little disappointing, I guess, but... The league is not over yet. Oh, uh, still maybe. That's why you didn't see them all? What episode are you up to? Did you make it up to... I thought you were ahead of us. I should use these Harbingers to try to roll maps too. Because if I get... I should run the... I guess this beachhead's even worth it anymore. Last time I ran it, it was actually really bad. Um... Oh, this was a thing. How did I not... I thought someone... I thought I sold that. I guess I didn't. Uh, what did I say? Metamorph Simulacrum? We're gonna try to do currency stuff, maybe if I have good ones. 83 only, right? Drop some map weapon. Alright. We need like three of each, right? Not possible to get three of each, I guess. I'll throw that one in there. This one's the jackpot, it looks like. Shit. Lungs galore. Rare weapon. When I'm ready and not before. You didn't stay up for the last couple, but you watched some during the week. Yeah, there was only nine before Friday, because Friday is when the last three came Welcome. out. May the darkness be. As in yesterday. But unless you watched it yesterday, you wouldn't have had it. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, we should probably do single target, right? Then sit I can use a situational frosh bomb if I really need it. Uh, I'm missing a zombie, huh? I need more mana. Did I get it? Alright. <laughs> Alright, everyone's alive.
He's a tanky one. I wish the Chaos T-Gen was a little bit more obvious on the ground. Harbinger bow? That's kind of a cool bow. Age one, that can't be good. A lot of jewels. Different skinning knife. What is this? That's the bronze lip, I guess. Goat's horn. I guess it's worth picking up jewels, I don't know. Since the currency is all in one place, I guess it's not too inconvenient to pick it all up. Last one for now. Much butter. Oh, why did I pick that up? When I'm ready and not before. Your victory. May the darkness spare you. Okay. Decent little extra amount of uh, currency just from throwing those scarabs in. Those jewels could maybe sell, I'll have to see. No, probably not though. People usually need like very specific things. So, but it could it could hit it. Could hit like life and two crits and a thing. Uh so we're good. So I actually finished my rolls. We're still pretty far away from the Exarch, actually. It hasn't, it's only 10%, you get double. But I guess I haven't ran that many maps because we have the short session tonight because we're going to do the watch party. All right, here we go. Here's the cake. We're going to do a simulacrum, which is kind of stupid because I'm at 69. I could, I could pro I'm at 59. I could probably level if I don't do this, but you know, whatever, I don't need the level. Alright. Because Simulacrum is like pretty easy to die. Yeah. But we won't die until like, probably until like at least wave 18 plus will be when it becomes. You have to start paying attention. Remember this ramshackle you've stood against so many horrors and survived. I think it's time to at last test your limits. Oh. But for these first waves, I'm just gonna... I could probably, I AF, I could probably AFK almost. I mean, I do have to resummon the sound skeletons every 40 seconds, I guess. So, I usually do it more often than that, though, because they uh, only are immune for, like, the first four seconds, and then they're very squishy, so... Getting them out every four seconds is, you know, or every eight seconds, I guess. You got double cast of it. Probably ideal. So, it's nice that we have this as a straightaway here, because I can just, like... These guys will shoot everything from right here.
Uh, it'll just be scary when we get uh, the boss, though. Because we can't really tuck him in a corner. Maybe we can? When I'm ready and not before. We're gonna have to be a little careful because the straightaway with the boss is bad because he has a lot of directed attacks that go in one direction. And you can't really, uh, I guess we'll fight him over here where we can maybe dodge some of it. Those uh, diff cards, I guess. This is only the beginning. Wave three. I guess this is also a decent spot to stand because it's shoot in both directions here. For the T. I mean, assuming you can tank the damage, because you're going to take the most damage at this corner, at this, uh, everybody converges here. So, whenever you have, uh, something where you have to do, like, a lot of minions, your flasks are pretty much going to be up the whole time, because you're going to be always killing something. Like, a lot of things. So that is nice. Different than bossing. Bossing, it's really like you're just not gonna have your flask <laughs> unless you blast them down in one by the duration of one blast thing. Um, or be Pathfinder, I guess. Or have a Mage Blood. I guess there's some options now. For, uh, consistent flasks during bosses. But the strategy is still mostly just blast the boss so hard that one level of flasks is enough. And then you actually roll your flasks not automated, you roll it just powerhouse. You roll the kindling orbs. Go for the powerhouse version. I'm just like, love the automation. I never do that. Let yourself be drawn into the mine. Once they added the automated flask, I was like sold forever. The only time I'll go the other way, I think, is if I get a mage blood. Because then it, then they're always on anyway, so it doesn't matter. You don't have to press anyway. So. And I'm actually perfectly set up for Mage Blood right now, too, right? Because the max you can get is four magic. So the, the, we would leave the Taste of Hate as the one automated. But you could also run Bottled Faith, maybe. And not before. It might be actually better to... For the offensive, it would be better to run Bottled oh. Faith, maybe. Plus, Bottled Faith gives, like, a pretty good amount of regen. So it actually might be good for me to run Sulfur Flask. Uh, like, even just a regular Sulfur Flask. because uh, the regen is nice. So, my AG died the last time I did this, by the way. So, we'll see if he survives today. It might have been my fault, though. I think I died and then resummoned my dudes and forgot to re put my uh, bone offering in, so he didn't have the block. That was a rookie. Rookie necromancer mistake. But he might have died anyway. I mean, we had Hostess out or whoever. We had the big boy. The big daddy. And the big daddy on like 20, 25 plus wave is not even, it's, it's, it's actually ridiculous. I can't even believe it. They, it's basically the reaction of GGG to the community asking for more like harder content for the people that blitz. Cause usually, um, 
most builds that are going for simulacrum farm will be able to, uh, you know, smash simulacrum with their build and just like constantly farm it, right? So you're only gonna get whatever the normal simulacrum is worth for 20 waves. But now that you can do 30 waves out of these, I'm surprised that they're not more expensive now. You know, maybe because it's still too hard to do. Like it's like the uh, feared, basically. Like the feared is super cheap, but like the guardian one is super cheap. Uh, I mean, the feared is super, yeah, the feared is super cheap, but the guardian one is super expensive comparatively because with the guardian one, um, it's really easy to do and it's consistent currency. Um, you know, it's the easiest one to do, I should say. It's not easy to do, but it's the easiest one to do. So, you know, I need more money. not every build can do Simulacrum or the Feared, I guess, so maybe that's why. But I also think it's because of, uh, like, the new Atlas stuff. It's now maybe easier to, to have consistent Delirium. When I'm ready... And, and with uh, scarabs being more plentiful, uh, you don't have to worry about trading for scarabs as well. You can just trade for delirium. And I think if you're only trading for like one resource, but you can automate everything else, uh, it might convince people that it's not that annoying. Yeah, because you know? most of the reason why I haven't done a lot of delirium uh, stuff. Previously, it's just because it's like requires a lot of setup, you know. You gotta get the maps, you gotta trade for the delirium orbs, you gotta set up and you roll everything right, and and then you have to have a build that's like willing to do it and like you know not die to the craziness. Because there is a lot of like this, they like regular delirium minions do like a lot of these like degens and they throw down like bombs and stuff, and the ice stuff. You um, once they added the uh, ailment immunity on uh, purity, it, I think that's been like a way easier way to get Nothing you do matters. defenses against the these type of interactions. Will pass into the next world. So, you had one job, but not killing my AG. My AG like dies every time I play a minion build. I never really invest in a really tanky AG. I have a as just meat shield right now. I think uh, if I get the uh, divergent for the extra life, it might he might survive. But I'm also doing like ridiculous content too. So like this is not the normal content that you really should be. This is like the you know it's a uh, hard hard bosses for summoners have always been in a position where. And do I think my AGs tank enough, or do I think that I should, un, you know, deactivate, you know, not summon him for the boss fight, basically, um, finish the boss, and then bring him back for the for normal maps that aren't as hard. That's always been like a, a minion strategy, and I think when they changed around like the stuff, when they changed around the the, like on heist, they added new. Uh, alternate qualities and stuff like that. Uh, they lowered, I think they lowered like all the minion health and people were like a little bit in an uproar about it, but I think it was mostly because there's like, there's many more options for giving them health now. I need more mana. That they still need to make it challenging for minion builds. Like you couldn't just have it so that every minion is so tanky it never dies. Although that would be ideal, but it would leave you not really many places to go in terms of upgrade. For minions. So I usually end up don't playing a traditional minion build that often because it's just a lot of micromanaging. And then it's also not great for the frames of the game if you're having like content like this. But I guess this league hasn't been too bad with the slowdowns. It's been mostly okay. There was like one time where I was had like really high ping, and I think that was like situational. Although I need one of these Twin screams. Guess I'll take a look at that. Do you not wonder what comes the strings of fate? What stands astride 
I the abyss? I was talking about Necromancer Can fail. Yeah, that's that. That was me fall. killing my animated guardian. AG is animated guardian. He's the guy that's like walking around with this big staff right here in the middle. You can, uh, it's actually really cool. You can uh, drop items on the ground and then um, summon him carrying the items. Um, and he can have a weapon set. Uh, so like any two-hander weapon, except for bows, you can't use bow and quiver, but he can have like a two-hander maul or something, or he could have a staff, or he could have a, a, a ma like a sword or a mace and a shield, or he can dual wield. Uh, you know, stuff like that. So you give him gear, and you can give him a chest piece, uh, and a helmet, and uh, gloves, and boots. And so I give him like stuff that has like stuff like nearby allies do more damage and stuff. So now he's standing around me, I do you know all the other minions do more damage. Uh, so it works out pretty nicely. I'm running my precision, yeah. So it's pretty cool because that also means that people can have a lot of diversity in their minion build because they can provide, the AG can provide a lot of different utilities, right? You can, you can give him like things that make everybody faster, you can give him things that, you know, you know, he has, there's a weapon that gives everybody fortify and calling strike. That's probably the best weapon for him, in my opinion. But it's a decently expensive weapon because of that utility. But giving all of my minions 10 stacks of fortify so they take less damage, and then giving myself that as well is like really strong. Um, and then the AG will also have it as well too, so he'll also maybe not die as much. So I did have him equipped with the Kingmaker earlier. Because um, I dropped the Siege Taker and just made, I crafted one myself. But using, using Heartbreaker Recipe. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Okay, so wave 14. I think we're still pretty safe for AFK. We I do, like, mana. have the big bomb things. I probably shouldn't stand in them, but my build is pretty tanky, so. I think I have tested quite a bit of, uh, you know, taking damage for this type of stuff. And uh, the build holds most of the time. Especially when my Taste of Hate flask is up, the leftmost flask. If that flask is up, I take less damage, and I'm funneling 15% of extra physical damage into my Cold Resist, which is 5% uh, more than everything else with the Aegis Aurora, so... Pretty good defenses. I guess I got another one dude over here. It's the Oils. Escape this so, plus if you can actually do the simulacrum, um, the drops are decent. Because they get the, each each wave has like a new set of tiles. And so you can get you know, of course you get all the delirium stuff, but then you also get all the other stuff. Like you get one that says unique, so you can get one that says you know, maps, blight, all the kind of stuff. So you get everything just from doing this. Believe me. You will fall exile. So it's pretty it's pretty nice. It takes a little while to run these. This is the 30 waves if you do it all. Oh we are taking some damage here. Oh, there's a guy. Oh we got a double boss actually. Oh shit. We got both of them on this wave. Oh shit. I shouldn't have walked through there, maybe. So I will throw my uh, other Val then. I was gonna try to save for next wave, but it makes no sense to do that. We got both these guys. I should uh, pull one of them into the corner over here, if possible. And then I don't have to fight both of them at once, but they're not really following me because I have so many minions out. And my minions are taunting. Man, we wiped them out though. <laughs> I took a hit. But this build can take a hit. 
Oh, we got a megalomaniac with uh, four things on it. Wow. Grant nothing and start damage. Wait. Four things? Insulated, Hunter, Dominance. Oh, three things. Yeah, it's only three things. I don't think it can ever be four things. I don't know how good these are. Ten C for that one. Five C. But I have three things. I'm just gonna try to sell it for an exalt, I guess. And then I'll just keep lowering the price. Problem with these is they're it's very situational, so if someone's not u exactly using all the things on it, they probably don't want it. Because otherwise they would just roll their cluster jewel how they want. So, but it does give you the option to get like some really weird combinations, because uh, sometimes you might want like one notable on one cluster and then one notable on another cluster, but you don't have enough space to run that many different types of clusters, you gotta pick one. So the Megalomaniac would allow you to do that if you got the right ones on it. And it's also like kind of a cool like chase chase type item because uh, each one is just completely random new things, right? So it makes you look at every one basically because they all are they all could be OP or completely useless. You don't know. You gotta check. Belted shard, nice. So for how cheap these simulacrums are, they used to be an exalt, but now they're like, not this league, but they used to be an exalt in more previous leagues, and now they're only like 60-something C or something. It's definitely worth it to run it if you have it. I'd easily make 60 C during this. And not even doing all 30 waves, you can make 60 C before you even get to wave 20 probably. That was a hit. Oh, I should actually check my Pantheon. I don't know if I have the stun protect on anymore. <laughs> I forget what I my last bit. I might have it on. I have the no bleed, I think. No bleed, no extra bleed while you're moving. Um, but re in reality, I should probably get the thing that says you can't get your blood. Or exalted shards, nice. I don't have enough space for this, do I? How many exalted charts? Alright, is everyone still alive? Yes? Wave 18. I, I think this is a boss one. Uh, it's so hard to see where the degens are when there's this much stuff on the ground. When I'm ready and not before. I guess this is not the last one. And stack decks. Yeah, look at all these scarabs and stuff. This used to be how people farm scarabs, by the way. Before this leak mechanic existed. Maybe that's why it's so cheap. Because the cost of scarabs is down. That actually makes sense. Oh shit, not that one. This one's expedition though, that's real good. Currency elf stuff. All these scarabs are good. This I'm saving in case my AG dies. It's a decent chest for the AG. Because it drops so often, it's pretty cheap. I don't care if he dies with it. Wave 19, so this is the last one maybe then?
I need more mana. Oh god, these guys are extremely hasty. In case this is the boss one, I want to stick to the side. Until I see him, or until I clear a lot of this side. So that if we do fight him, we can fight him without having to fight all these guys at once. But maybe it's not the boss one. I guess 20 is definitely the boss one, though. I thought they came out like... Maybe it's random. I haven't really run too many of these. I usually do like once a league if I'm gonna run it. Or if it's uh, an achievement I or something. Will not be made a fool. I might be getting stunned a little bit here. I guess even if I had the Brian King, it would still stun me initially, and then then I would be protected from stun afterwards. Do I see the dude yet? Where is he? When I'm ready, and not before. That's a huge DJ. <laughs> Stay away from that one. Well, I guess this is another easy AFK. Doesn't even hurt me. All right, easy through 20 waves, but 20 waves is kind of expected now with all the new. So now we're on 21. So now this could get very shady. Must have been poison or something. I need more mana. See how tanky these guys get? This is just a regular white blue enemy here. And he's still getting the shock and the, the free the shock and the chill. So Level 21 arc. No. That's not the good one, probably. What is this? Yeah, we're pretty full. Whoops. to dump tab. Yeah. It's probably like an upgrade recipe or something, I don't know. My gem tab is full, I think. No, I have to figure that one out later. When I'm ready. Alright, what are we on? Twenty two? Not the big team. Ooh, 
How's that? I taste the hay, does that ring? That was lame drops. All items on the ground are just, yeah, okay. 300 experience gain. What do we actually have on here? Life, speed, chaos resistance, impale, maim. Oh, they have extra physical as chaos. Okay, that's what's killing me then. I don't have, uh... I need to max out my chaos resist more. Or go CI, I guess, but... We're, like, heavily invested into hybrid. The yeah, eye would be like completely different build. I have to change a lot of stuff around. So plus I don't think I can run discipline. I'd have to drop like either zealotry or purity. Dropping zealotry would be less damage. Dropping purity would be no ailment immunity. I guess I could get I ailment immunity run. on CI gear. That would be the way, maybe. Build kind of good. 24. Wave 24. We still have duration on our on our Val skeletons. That's pretty sweet. When I'm ready and not before. Oh shit. I'm gonna pop the other one too, I guess. It's still no boss. I guess, uh... Oh shit, there he is. <laughs> Spoke too soon, man. Spoke too soon. Did I get the curse off? I didn't. There it is. Yeah. Oh shit! He one slapped me. I shouldn't have been standing like that, probably. I thought I was out of his range. I thought the skeletons were gonna get him. I was at 82. Shit. Actually, decent experience running simulacrums if you're not dying. Maybe I should try to do that. Level up with the simulacrum. 82? Well, I started at like 60, right? I was at like 59, maybe? I made it to 82 without dying. 60, 70, 80. That was like 20%-ish. So if I start above 80% at the simulacrum, I can probably level without dying. Alright. We need our zombies back, though. I guess we'll stop running precision for one second. Nine. Make sure to put this back in. I need more mana. Pass that bone offering works. All right. All right. 
Hopefully he doesn't slap me right at the entrance. I think he's on the other side though, but he is kind of, he can see me from here, I think. Yeah, there he is. So we need to move along quickly. This is why this one's kind of dangerous because it's in a straight line here, so. He can definitely slam right where we are. Like he's doing it right now. He's got the extra chaos damage, is bad. When I'm ready and not before. Problem is, is he would he can off screen slam me. I can't really see when he's gonna do it. Here, we'll speed up. Cause he's such a fatty. Look at him. I guess I don't have as much shock and on him than I should be, right? Gitterbots might be actually better for these fights. Because I don't have, uh, I don't really have, like, enough crit to guarantee. I'm gonna get the full amounts. Too bad I can't do, like, brittle shenanigans with this. Then we'd have disgusting crit. This would be like the perfect amount of uh, not investing into crit to have a brittle, but I don't know. It'd be kind of OP. Minion brittle. Kind of crazy that brittle still hasn't been changed at all, really. Maybe GGG thinks people haven't really, like, covered it enough. Every time I see somebody, like, sacrificing their entire build set to run Brittle, they just blast everything in the game instantly. It's like so much free crit. And it's usually, like, silly setup. That's stock. None of these are good, right? Breach ring? Hilarious. Is that the princess saver? I don't think we want that. Okay. So that was the boss. Is it boss every time now? I forget how the how the these later stages I'm not sure exactly how it works. Everybody has chaos damage, though. So this is gonna be bad. Sometimes you just roll bad rolls on your simulacrum. And it just synergizes with killing you. So uh, we did get a boss. Here he is. This is the big boy too. This is the bigger boy. The big one. This is the guy that does the blasters. The big blaster. The reign of uh, splinters. When I'm ready and not before. Minions are not them. They could get really dangerous. With like extra damage and stuff. And where's this dude? Oh, he passed me somehow. He like teleports and then puts D gems everywhere. So sometimes it's really annoying. Oh, there he is. So. I guess it makes sense to put the Skelly Boys down here. So I don't want to be on a straightaway here, because if he blasts, I'm going to be right in it. Yeah, here it comes. Yeah, here's the blast. Did he like blast in one direction like this? If you're on a straightaway and he does that, then you're just like, you won't be able to get around him. And then this thing just keeps getting bigger until it explodes, so. You don't really want to be next. You don't want to be on that side of him. Oh shit, I'm dead. Regen, regen, regen. There he is. 
Oh, he's on the stat, actually. All right. Ah, oh, there he's blasting again. All right. Good time to get the DPS on. It's unfortunate that his energy shield recharged so much. I don't. If I was a chaos build, he'd be dead already. Or if we had calling strike, I guess. I actually have to knock down his energy shield again when he charges up. All right. Well, this one is actually working out really well. And the AG is still alive. AG has not died. Alright, I guess I don't need to put that away yet. Uh, we do need to summon one more zombie again. Back to nine. Do I usually put this on? I have the gold amount already, right? Make sure to put bone offering in. Good. Alright, wave 26. Yeah, this is taking a little longer than I thought it was going to. My bad. This is the final boss battle. So. My bad. Build's too OP. I, you know, we would have been dead by now with any other build, probably. Poison Concoction definitely wasn't going to be uh, hitting wave 26 on this, probably. At least not with the gear that I have. I put another skilly. So I mean, these waves get kind of crazy because just like the regular minions are like all like crazy. I need more mana. They just have so many buffs. They're like all like mini bosses now. Which, depending on which minion it is, might be scary. Luckily, I don't think Semilacrum has the, uh... Oh, Patient, that's nice. Uh, I don't think it has the, like, uh, the winged demon dudes that shoot the, the AoE. Because that would be really impossible. Alright, wave 27. And I already used my Val Skeletons, though. I'll have to charge another one up. These guys are going to be very scary with the splinter attacks and the explosions. Did we just drop a 21 bone offering? Too much clutter. Damn. Oh shit, the boss is here too. Damn. I didn't put the stuff away. I can't even pick it up. I think it came from the, uh, from an incubator. The gem incubator gave it to me. So, I guess if we die, we can put our stuff away and then pick it up. All right, I have my skellies. Skelly boys, go! Skelly team, skelly team, win, win, win! Hit them hard! Oh shit! I think this is clear one guys here. Push him off real quick. Alright. Bearing it down to just the boss does make it a lot better. Because now I just have to dodge his mechanics one on one. But having to deal with all those other minions. I should be able to do that successfully without dying. Oh shit, he's doing this move. We want to be over here. Nice. Ready and not before. There's a lot of explosion on that one. Uh, I can probably switch to single target without getting killed by him. If he jumps on me, I'm dead. Alright, single target. Oh shit, we want to be up on this side of him. 
I need more mana. Problem is, every time he does that move, we're gonna have to like get his energy shield down again. This is taking a little bit of time, actually. Even with my single target. Now we're chunking him. Actual life total. We like teleport around so much. The slam is the, the thing we maybe have to worry about. And the degens, but the degens, as long as we're standing in the right spot, we should be fine. I don't think his auto attack hurts me. Which is nice, because most of, most builds I've played before his auto attack one shots me. <laughs> so <laughs> having some defense is nice. Usually when I see like a delirium mirror in a tier 16 that randomly shows up, I go, oh no, that's delirium. And then the boss spawns later in the map and slaps me. Because you can't, you're one-shotting all the small minions, but you're not one-shotting this dude in tier 16 delirium maps. Is he charging up again? It'd be nice if he didn't charge up ever again. Because then you don't have to worry about Oh, there he goes, though. Alright, so bring out the boys, then. And get him down before he goes back to his attack. Okay. Yeah. yeah, this part takes a really long time, unless you have, like, disgusting damage. I do have pretty disgusting damage, but not in the scheme of, like, every player in Path of Exile, you know what I mean? Because people get, like, really ridiculous gear in uh, Soft Core. And that's usually never me. I'm usually, like, decently casual with my gear. We got a special map that's nice. All right, we have to go back to clear. The start. When I'm ready and not before. If the boss shows up again and we get down to the last part, we'll uh, switch. Hopefully, without taking a hit. Level 21 bone offering. All right, we're at wave 28. This is the farthest I've made it this league. This is the time I usually end up dying. I didn't resummon. I have one. Gotta resummon, actually. I need more mana. Oh shit, double boss. We got both of them. is bad. You need to get these minions cleared out of here so you can focus on the bosses. I can't get blasted by these guys. Maybe we can like lure one of them over here. Or maybe they just won't come over here and we'll just be able to do all the minions. All the smaller minions. Oh, there he is. He's charging. It's nice that that attack doesn't hurt me, actually. Usually. Because that attack can be real bad. Oh, he's blasting. I don't know if I can get over there right now. 
I would like to try to cast this on him, though. He's got a degen over in the corner here, too. Oh, yeah, there he is. This is the minor one. But he can still slam, so we gotta watch out. I think we can go into single target now. If I can make the switch quick. Oof, that was dangerous. Alright. AG is still alive. When I'm ready and not before. Don't slam me. I saw it. I saw it coming. I think we're good on everything though, right? We didn't lose anybody, just me. <laughs> I'm the weakest link out of my uh, team. The 21 bone offering. I don't think 21 bone offering is worth it though, right? I need the... It's better to have the 20% increased gas, the 23% increased casket, I think. Uh... Okay. I need more mana. Oh, shit. We just have to fight this one, I think. While the other guy's doing his charge up or whatever. Hopefully he doesn't do the thing where he slams across the thing. The degens. Oh shit, the degens. Oh, he's putting another one? Oh my god. Oh, I can walk up here. Oh shit. I don't know if that, that helps me that much, but I never knew I could walk up here. Oh shit, the, the degens are everywhere. How do I get these degens to explode? He's doing another charge up. How's the stand up here? Oh shit, I can't cast down there. Hit him. When I'm ready and not before. This guy's almost down. Okay, he just slammed. I'm gonna switch the Smiver's Mark on to the weaker one. Oh shit! Was I being bled? I'd have to look at the, the bot, I guess, on that one. Yeah. Did I lose anyone? I didn't lose anyone. Maybe I just didn't have fully leveled gems before. And that's why. I was having a bad time keeping the AG alive. I think the extra chaos damage and degen type of stuff is not good for me.
because it's uh, my energy shield is kind of worthless against it. Yeah. This is a bad spot. I need more mana. This guy's is always slamming. That's like his uh, prerogative. Like full time slammer. Look at him go, slamming away. Is he dead yet? Alright. Curse this guy then. Yeah, the last time I did this too, standing in that beam for like one or two seconds felt like getting Shaper Beam, so that was also very bad, because uh, it is pretty easy to get tagged by it like, for like a second before you flame dash away. And if you're already dead from that, that's not good. I need to get over here. There we go. Perfect. I wish I had Skelly, the big Skelly team for this part. But I guess he's not going to be knocked down enough anyway after this one. When I'm ready and not before. I need him to blow up the thing so I can get out of here. <laughs> there he goes. Okay, Fully skull full Skelly team right now. Get in there, guys. Hit him down. He's only taking 2% chill and, and shock. Damn. I should test switching the skitter bots to see if he gets more than two. Because that's really low. Oh, sh damn. I got lazy. <laughs> I was AFK taking his auto attack, so I was like, I don't need to. I need to move, right? Let's test it real quick. If I switch to uh, Skitterbots, I have them right here. Because I was using that before. It'll actually be cheaper on my mana, too. Alright, okay. we won't have the Zealotry crit, but... <clears throat> Yeah, it's already more than 2%. 5 and 8. So that should be better damage then. Still pretty low. He's got crazy resistance. Elemental is not... There's like so much mitigation against Elemental in the game. So... But Flesh Crafter does ignore their uh, resistance, so that's nice. I need full Skeleton to get this uh, energy shield knocked off. Damn, he's so tanky. He just keeps getting his whole, whole energy shield back again. When I'm ready and not before. I need to somehow do some chaos damage to him. 
Or I guess Kingnick or Culling Strike would have helped. For this thing. Right, I need to get out of this D-Gen. We have another Skelly, but I should save it for next wave. If I can. My minions are doing a good job of taking the damage from his auto attack. He's like not even looking at me. I mean, I guess this is what happens when they try to make the game harder, right? They just, it's literally just more health. The hardest modes in like Ghost of Shishim and stuff like that are just like more health too. Wave like 29. Can we take wave 29? Actually, this is the farthest I've been. I think I've died on 28 or before every time so far. I gotta bring out the Skelly team, I think. Oh shit. It's double boss again? Is it just double boss every time for the rest of the waves now? Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is he coming up here with me? Oh shit. <laughs> he is. He is coming up here with me. The mini I think the mini boss is harder than the major boss though. This guy's way worse. The other guy at least likes just the other guy just heals himself a lot, really. Which is annoying, but You probably won't die unless you're the D-Gen. Off. Oh, yeah. Alright, well, I guess I might not complete this one either. I'm so close, though. I think I need a little bit more damage, probably. Should we go back to Zealotry? I don't know. I think it might be better to keep Skitterbrots for this. Too bad you can't run balls, but all right, this is the last. Uh, I'm ready and not before. The last portal, so either die or survive this last little bit. I need more mana. Um, but like in terms of currency gains, we definitely killed it already. Getting to 29 is plenty enough. Am I still using that? Oh, I'm still using the single target right now. That's that might be a problem actually. Damn, I can't stand here. Too much shit. Damn, he's following me here too. I'm trying to get away from the Boston guys so I can't, so I don't get slammed when I switch gems here. And then I can hopefully clear this. These little guys. Which aren't that little. For this wave. Like, look at this one little, this one little guy cursed is still not, I can't kill him. He's got so much extra health. Need, like insane damage. This guy's got so much energy shield, we're never gonna kill him first. We need to curse this guy down. Uh, I think it's worth to go single target actually now. <laughs> Fight's a little complicated. Can he jump up here?
The question is, will it, can he find me up? Oh, shit, he can. Oh, he left. Oh, shit, it does hit me up here. There's so many DGENs on the other side, I can't even get over there. Uh, Skelly Boys, help me out. Shoot him. When I'm ready and not I saw that. I saw it coming. Go back up here real quick. Or a quick tap. I think the other guy came over now, so. Actually, it's bad because he's gonna start shooting his stuff too. All you need, you just need enough defenses to be able to walk past their, them while they're doing their crazy auto attack slams in this thing. If you can take the one hit while you walk by, then you can uh, regroup to throw down the other skellies again. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 Fuck myself up on the top of the ship. This is the place. This is the secret, the secret place to stand. Although the guy can still hit me, I think, if he stands over here. We're running out of skellies, so I gotta put more out. Oh shit, he came over here. Did we kill the other guy yet? What killed me? I'm nowhere near anything. Invisible. That's bullshit, man. I think I killed one of them. That was wave 29. Damn. So close. Next time, maybe. Yeah, maybe I'll run skitterbots for a little while because I it helps my mana too. I did Zeltrys is more damage, but it might it might it might be worth it. So alright. It's time. It's time for the watch party. Uh but that was a really good session. Uh we didn't fight the Searing Exarch boss, but uh we did all the other stuff. We got a lot of good loot. Uh, Arbiters are super strong. The operative strong boxes are super strong. Simulacrum is super strong. I made 8x tonight in four hours. That's pretty good. Not bad. For like as slow as I go. Made a ton of stack decks and chaos and exalts. And then I got a bunch of exalted shards, which is how I made the exalts mostly. Um, but I still have 14. Exalted charge left over, so we're almost up to four exalts. And then I made two simulacrums tonight as well, so I can actually run it back. Uh, but not, we won't do it now, it's pretty long. I might run it back later tonight. So. Anyway, that's it, level 93. We did end up dying all the way back down to 25%, so I'm still level 93, but. <laughs> Ugh. Alright, so we're going to watch uh, Vox Machina. I think we're up to episode 7, that's correct. Uh, so I'm going to take a quick bathroom break, check on my children real quick, and uh, grab a drink, and then we will be starting. And we're going to blitz. We're going to blitz through all six tonight uh, for the rest of the uh, season one of uh, Vox Machina. So you guys may fall asleep soon. Yeah. And it's going to be a late night. But it's all right. I'm going to get another energy drink and power up, and I'll be right back. Thanks so much for hanging out with me on a Saturday. 
these watch parties have always been a pretty fun time to just kind of relax and even for me it's not as you know i don't i'm not super pressured to have like a huge stream plan because we can just kind of hang out and it's been fun so appreciate you all hanging out and uh i'll be right back thanks for thanks for watching happy saturday